temperatures heating up. Take a look at this beautiful sunrise. We are seeing sunrise officially just in a few minutes here. Santa Monica currently under a mostly clear sky. Temperatures in the lower 60s to start off the day. And again, uh, it's going to be hot. We have a heat advisory in place for the Inland Empire as well as an excessive heat warning. That is in place for the Coachella Valley. And you know, it's kind of like the outskirts of LA. Not, not, not too much to do out here, but I mean, it's a call it my city now but uh, just like yeah I moved out here in 2018 been at Corona Centennial the whole time so don't really leave too often but I mean, I do, I do a little sweet tooth, but I think I do eat, I do eat pretty healthy though. I get my greens mostly every night. My mom forces it, but uh, you know, it's for the better. So I have to eat like 20 Reese's at a time. Really, that's only when like that was when I was on vacation. And like our cereal is literally the honey bunch of oats with 30% almonds. It's not even. I can't get any good cereal in the house. Ow. Our fridge is just kale and I don't even know what's in our fridge. Celery, <laughs> uh, almond milk, can't even get regular milk. But it says too much time has been passed, you have to do 10-15 now. It takes me everywhere. That's why I don't need a license. It takes me everywhere. It takes my sneaky links. It takes me Stop. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny at all. No sneaky links. We are loyal. Remember when I drew the game and we saw like I think it was the assistant coach. Like I saw one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's up yours? I think this one's mine. How did I miss a phone call right there? Yeah. I oh, it's Kansas. Like all resistance, bands, just hip mobility, hamstring, like it's just, it's the best of the best out here. You never know what we're about to do in a day. It's always something new. Where I live, it's like completely the outskirts of LA. Like LA is huge. There's LA, then there's Orange County, there's Anaheim, there's, there's LA, like Calabasas and Woodland Hills, which is where Paul is. So like Corona's here, Paul is here and Shay is here. But this is, this is like a hour, hour 15, this is like two hours. So we're like two hours away from a lot of things. So it's, yeah, my mom is like a savior. I, like this, I, I keep coming back to it, but I keep wanting to, I wanna, I can't wait to repay my parents because my dad's always flying and working, uh, making money for the family. And my mom works also, but she's also driving me to all these places I need to go. She doesn't care, she doesn't complain makes my food, does er she literally does everything for me and I can't wait to repay her in any way possible. Yeah, reach with it at the bottom. There was a lot of coaches, seven of, 
the NL 100. Um, obviously, you guys play in the championship game against Foreman. You guys get that fun. You've been offered by Kansas, Louisville. Uh, I think Texas Tech is in there with you. USC, LMU, San Diego State. Are those, are those right? Yeah. Yep, Thanks for right. doing that. Uh, maybe there's more. You know, that's just the one yeah. that I could cross. Yeah. yeah. Mexico, yeah, LMU. About that or like, what did you think uh, about yeah, that? You know, usually, you know, these rankings come out, the and me and Darren, not on them, uh, the new rivals came out, and stuff, and just, uh, they do have their own opinion, and I'm fine with that. My main motivation, my parents and my brother, like, my parents, they work so hard to get where I'm, work, get to where we're at right now, and I'm so lucky that I'm able to live in a house that you know, we have running water, we have air conditioning, we have food all the time whenever I need it. And like, I'm not, I'm not saying like I grew up in the trenches at all, but I live a great life. I live, I mean, we're just, I'm blessed in this, in the way I am right now, but I, I want to be more than that. I want to, I want to be a millionaire, a billionaire so I can repay, I can pay off this house, I can give them a the bigger house. I can take my brother on all these trips that he didn't get to go on. I can, I can take my brother on all these visits, all these, Anywhere I get to, I get to give them gear from the top 100 camp. Like, that's what really, like, it really, like, I don't know. Like, that's my brother. Really, is my biggest inspiration. His main goal is to win. I mean, this right here. Look, I gotta here. I did. I gotta check this off. Look, this right here. <laughs> Day in the life. We gotta take it <laughs> off. But yeah, I wrote this like. A year and a half, two years ago. Wait, does that say unguarded mixtape? <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I, I did it, like I, I was looking, I was like, I like the like how he did like the camcorder, or whatever, like the old thing. I wanted that. I wanted all of it, so I was like, let me put all of this on there. How long ago did you make this? Like two, two years ago, maybe a year and a half. I think it was like right before quarantine or something. Would you call it a vision board or? Yeah, yeah, I'd say that. I mean, so this one over here. I made this one, this was that day, like right when quarantine started. Oh, you just made it? Yeah, so I got... How strong did you believe that this was all going to come true? When I first did it, like, I mean, it was it was a long shot for me for sure. Like, these two especially, like Peace Jam and Southern Section, like, I knew those were going to be, like, super hard. But, like, I mean, this one, I was, like, I was on Compton Magic. And we were trying to get to a DYBL team, so that was, I wrote that and I was like, okay, we're gonna do it. So I knew that was a long shot. But when I kept like, when I, when it got closer, then we brought Kylan in, I was like, okay. And then I just kept manifesting it. I kept doing my meditation. I kept dreaming about it. I kept praying about it. And everything, it kind of just, it came all together that one day when I, I mean, especially this one. This one meant probably the most to me. Southern section to beat Terry Kane, they've been on top for the past like five, six years. So to beat them as a public school especially was, it meant so much to me, especially it meant so much to me because I know Coach Giles, it, it mean like the world to him. So like to do it for him was the best feeling in the world. I have this picture, it's like my favorite picture. It's on my Instagram, but it's me and him hugging like right after the game. And it was like, like it, it almost made me cry. Like, I was What'd like, he say to you? He was like, I mean, he was like, we did it. Cause we had talked about it so much. like. Do you guys usually like lose early in the playoffs or something? I mean, so like for us, the last few, so okay, my freshman year, we lost, we lost to Harvard Westlake in the playoffs first and modern day. We usually, we kind of lose early in playoffs. That's been like what's happened when I was there. So, well, we just got this one, but I wrote down, I got my goals for, this is, this is for this season. This is for the 2021, 2022, but uh, yeah, yeah, I got a bunch of, I mean, and then this is the book. This it's kind of beat, but this is the book that I read every before every game. Oh, yeah, I, I heard someone caught you on film reading at Peace Jam. Really? Yeah. I actually didn't. I know. never saw the video, but they said they got you reading. Really? Yeah. I, every time I read it, I thought I was like in like a private space. Like even before the Peace Jam, before the championship, I like we were like warming up, and I was like, I can't find a place because everywhere was crowded. So I had to. I ran, like, in warm-ups, I'm running to another gym where no one else is, and I, I had to read. It was, what is it called again? It's called The Inner Game of Tennis. 
What do you read from it? You well, read... okay, so like there's different. So like there's the inner game of tennis. So it's a mental <laughs> book. So it's kind of oh, like okay. it's not really it's not really about tennis, <laughs> but it's explaining it from the aspect. The author is like was a tennis player. Ah. So it's like explaining from the aspect of the mental game of sports. So like they're just different. Like I I, got, I have notes like all over the book, but I'll just read like a little. There's like asking for form. So you just read until I just read into that. And then there's like let it happen is probably my favorite. Is that book like a hand me down or something? No, I actually I bought this brand new. It's not even that <laughs> old. Um it's just been through a lot. <laughs> it's, it's been through like it's gotten wet. I mean but I can I can never I can never get rid of this at all. Dang. And then Yeah, so this one this is the one that started January first of this year and I got, this is more goals. I write goals on everything. I got it in my phone. I got it in like four journals. I got it on here, but this I started and like, I do the same. I mean, you can zoom in on this. Like it's yoga, meditate or yoga, workout, meditate, school, read. And it's, I, this is like, a I check it off. Uh, this who, is like, who got you into all this? Um, I kind of just started like watching YouTube and like, I was watching like different, um, this, there's this guy, I, his name's Matt, I think, but he does different ways, like how to deal with anxiety or how to deal with certain stuff like that. And I just got into it, how to practice good habits. And Matt, do you know his last name? I can look it up real quick. I always like looking at these, uh, these like real estate videos, cause I like, I like, I want to start writing down like what I want in these, uh, in these houses. Oh, here he is, Matt Devella. But I, yeah, I took interest in them like a few years ago. I don't know what like, but like these are type like four rules that help increase your productivity. Like I love those types of videos. Like just something about like the one mindset that changed my life. Just different stuff. Like this one, <laughs> this is Sierra Canyon. I wrote this the day before. I said, SC, let's go. <laughs> and I said, and the day after I put rest, best day ever. <laughs> but yeah, like literally all up until it, I'm just work out, meditate, read yoga. Did this like seventh or eighth grade, but this one has like McDonald's All American Slam, be on a Slam cover, get an offer, get a D one offer. Wait, you're left handed when you write? Yeah, I'm I'm a dexterous. Like you yeah, I left eat left. Like every mostly I kick with my left. Like everything I do is really with my left, except shoot. But, but like a little um, when we played Hillcrest, I had like a little scatter report on their little team, but not too much like Mike Foster and stuff. But yeah, this one, I don't really write much in that. But yeah, that's really, I just write a bunch of stuff. Anything that comes to my mind, this is the book I'm reading right now that my coach gave to me. And yeah, I've been writing for about like two years, probably a year and a half. Just like consistently trying to journal stuff or make goals like this right here is like if I can, when I'm able to check all this stuff off, that's gonna be. That's my biggest goal for sure. Is check everything off this list. Oh, where's his bed? It's right here. I don't think he's coming. Mm-hmm. You, I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah, we're going. We're going to sinking down, bringing with it some cool air, but also bringing with it some smoke from the fires burning northbound. So we'll have some hazy conditions this afternoon, but this morning, a chance of some drizzle. We'll have some cool weather last through tomorrow, but then high pressure builds back in over Thursday. Northeasterlies come back, so it does mean that we're going to get some Santa Ana like winds coming through dry. Just saying, you're the reason we're playing. Like, we're supposed to be lifting. Dude, my ankle. We're not lifting. Because he has color scripts coming. You do too! Yeah, no, what? Why is he like he's like, I, I'm the only one or something? I want to be. I bought the beige kind. It's fake. Are you real? Yeah. Mine are hella fake. Bro, I'm not paying $300 for some slides. Bro, they're not $300. What's it? No, they're like $200, though. I bought them on Depop, 180 that's, that's not bad. Some slides, that's, bro. that's not bad. Those are four fifty right now. I got these. Regular. I got these for twenty bucks and the same amount of comfort. What are these? I don't care. I, I got these off eBay from a yeah. Chinese website. Uh, by the fact that the guys are capable of playing at such a high level. 
level, but at the same time, we are we are young, and there's a lot of problems. Why is that the one you clean the whiteboards with? No, this is for it's your face. You that's not for your face. Yeah, that's for your car. That's for your car. No, it actually might be. It actually might be. Let me see. Flip the side. What is it called? Bro, that's for a car, bro. When you do a car wash. No, that's not for your face, bro. I've never used that on a car. It's like. Atlanta and play two of their three teams. Are you excited? Low key. I want to see how good they are. I wonder how all their players are going to mesh. How, what's the percentage you play them? Uh, I think we're like about to sign the, the or contract. I don't know if it's a contract, but like fill out the thing to go actually. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's certain. I think that will be a good game. Yeah. We the play under as a, like our oh, the hey, club? you team? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, go. you can lean forward. Yeah, as far as you can. Okay. There you go. Three, two, one. Good. We, we didn't lose. We won, I think, like 20 games, 20 some games after that in a row. And then we lost to Harvard Westlake. And I, she knows, I thought we were done. I mean, I, I came home crying. I was crying right after the game. I was, it was a bad night for me, for sure. <laughs> she was, was laying on this floor right here crying. And I kept telling her that it was going to be okay. And that it was going to be fine. And he stood up and he was like, he swore it was over. He literally swore it was over. He was like so quiet. But I literally knew. And they ended up winning. So like, that's going to like... But like I'm just saying, when he had no, when he had no faith, I told him it was gonna be okay. <laughs> I guess why, she, did, why did you think it was like over? Well, because at that time I was like, well, Harvard Wesley just gonna beat the rest of the team, so if they won the next two games, they advanced. I'm like, did we just lose my chances of doing a state championship or a CIF championship? And he told me he was like, we have to do these three things to win to get to advance. We have to win. Or for win modern day and win Damien and pray that Harvard Westlake would lose and and but then we had a loss scenario where we needed a certain team to lose and all four teams were in it so all those three things ended up happening and it was just like one we were actually so we finished the modern day game and Damien and uh, Harvard Westlake were playing and we we blew out modern day so it was like I was checking I was trying to check the score during the modern day game. So at the end, we're all, we're all huddling up watching. It's in the documentary with uh, Baller Visions. And we're all watching on this little phone. And we see that Damien won, which meant that we got to advance to the championship. And we all just started going crazy. All the parents were in the gym. We were running out there. I have no shoes on, no socks on. I'm just, we're just sprinting all over the gym because like, we, we all thought we didn't really have a chance. So to know we actually got the chance, it was like, <laughs> it was like one of the best feelings to know that we could win. Yeah, we're not. I mean, you're not supposed to be, but like, since Harvard Westlake, since we were the number one seed, and since we lost, it was like everyone thought you were done because Harvard Westlake had to lose another game, which it was kind of hard for them too because they were a great team, but they ended up winning. So I just thought personally, I was like, okay, they're just gonna win these next two games, and we're gonna be out. That's why I thought we didn't make it. But after the Sierra Canyon game. We, we had two tournaments still with, uh, with Centennial. We had Section 7 back-to-back -back weekends. So we ended up winning both of those. That's where like all the college coaches were able to come. That's where I got most of my offers, really. So it was actually great that we got to do that with Centennial. Then after that, we were done with Centennial. Those two tournaments were our last time. Then I think a, two weekends or a weekend after that, we had like a why not camp for like just to get to know the teammates, practice. Then we had one tournament in Vegas, which didn't really help because we just blow out every team, so we didn't get any competition until PCM. But 
we won that tournament, that Vegas tournament. Just had one week to prepare and practice, and then we, we flew off to uh, to Georgia for our uh, for Peach Jam. PJF Performance, and you can find him on Instagram there. He also has a YouTube under the same name. In 5'11", I was always, of course, searching for ways to run faster and jump higher. Shoot, I could pass, I could not jump, I could not run. And so uh, there was a lot of college coaches interested in recruiting me in high school, but they all said the same thing, like, just don't have the athleticism to play at the Division I level. And I started applying this knowledge to myself and to my own game and my own training, and my vertical went up 12 inches in a year. Holy sh so the same coaches, the same coaches that were telling me you just don't have to let the athleticism were now seeing me throw down full windmill dunks. So, yeah, so. What, uh, what class, what class is this one going to be? You're saying that if you say you, you, you don't go to law school, you're going to become a teacher? Yeah, I, I, I was going to do that. I, I, really? That's so, that's so cool. Wait. Uh. You know, like... What's up, Tinder? Take... Uh, speed? Speed. Good jump. Oh, where's the treat for Teddy? Jump. Oh, yeah, Teddy over here, Teddy. Teddy, Teddy, Teddy. So a lot of people ask about your leg, uh, your leg workouts. Dude, most of this is just natural. If my mom, mom, what you you did track when you were young? Yeah. I got my legs from her, to be honest with you. <laughs> I should have did more when I was younger, but. She said she was nice. I don't know. There's, there's no proof back in the '60s. I just as you guys don't distract each other. You really help each other, uh -huh. and that's different, I think, from a lot of relationships. practice when you went to the game? No, I didn't do the game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Houston, Gonzaga, and Arizona, I think, in practice tomorrow. So make sure we're there early. I know some of the guys are coming in to get up some work, but we've got like seven or eight pretty high major schools coming into practice tomorrow morning. So I want to have a workout where you guys are doing some skill stuff. Um, 
Are you able to be there in the morning? Yes. Okay. None of the teams that we're playing against have six one centers. Okay, when we go to the border league, they have seven foot centers. Uh, Mr. Williams, they need to talk about that. I got a point three. Smart as hell. I know. Wait, how did this drop? That's right. I was supposed to. Like at a TikTok? Like house? at a house? Yeah, yeah, I was supposed to go to a house. Yeah. But you get a lot done if you wake up early, I see. For sure. So you have to. You have to wake up early to get stuff done. Do you sleep early every day? I try to. I mean, sometimes with homework, I have to stay up a little later, but I try to go to bed at like 9, 9 or 10, in between there. It gives me like. Eight hours? Something like that. Try to get at least eight hours. Before we go about five. <laughs> you sound like a second grader. I give up on the dropping out. <laughs> come back, come back, come back. Unless I have to do laundry a lot. Yeah, I have to do it every day. Oh. Cause my jersey has to be washed. I can't be going to practice <laughs> smelling like. Oh, you so you guys you guys only have one practice. Yeah. Jersey. You're wasting detergent over here. You ever had to just not wash it? There's been times. Sheesh. And it just doesn't doesn't sit right with me. Nor is that ever a good practice. You gotta bring like, you said like three, four sets of clothes every time? Yeah, like, that's why I can never get like, I can never get my loads like folded because I'm always doing the load. I've been like four changes of clothes for the day and then I'm out the whole day and then I, now I have to do my load. So it's like, yeah, I mean that's folded, but I have to, Keep up with all my laundry. I need to get rid of some clothes, to be honest. make your bed every day yeah I just kind of started oh yeah the book yeah made your bed I just finished it but yeah it's like I want to start this little accomplishment for the day I mean a lot of the players Kylan me and Aaron were all on uh, Centennial so we couldn't even play until Centennial was done so you guys didn't have me we just had that Vegas one. That was our only warm-up tournament. So, what was the UIBL like? So, like, I had seen, like, I watched, like, all the videos on YouTube of all the P-Sham stuff, all the UIBL stuff, and I had, I was, I was super so excited. Was your first time? Yeah, yeah, because freshman year, COVID hit, so we didn't even get to go. So, this year, I was, like, super excited to even go. So, we got there. We got, we took a red eye, so I was, like, we were all super tired, but... We did our COVID test. We had to do a COVID test every three days, but then, but then it switched to every every day. But Pisha, it was an amazing experience. We were all first game. We came out. Uh, we played the Scholars, and you know none of us really played too well. 
as like as a team I felt like because it was more of a closer game so we didn't really play well at all so we kind of came back we, we were practicing in between every day at this other gym we never really hung out with each other but we started kind of getting along not that we didn't but we just started getting along playing out with each other just understanding each other's games and then second game we came out we blew them out and then we kept we kept blowing teams out and then come TSF we ended up losing by like seven or something and that was the first game in Pichem which got to be the most heart heartbreaking because we were like seven and oh and then first game of Peach of actual Peach we lost. We were playing pretty selfish, I would say. Like we weren't, I don't know what happened, but I guess with the peach, we kind of stopped playing as we were. We were playing more selfish, kind of trying to get our own shots and which it didn't, it doesn't work and it didn't work. And after that we played Houston Hoops and Team Griffin. And we beat those teams, played CP3. Did you guys have any like, was there like amongst yourselves or the coach were like, oh, we gotta watch out for them? Um, I mean, like everyone knew, everyone knew there's, there's Rob and there's Aiden and Jalen and Gus and I forget their big's name, but they, I mean, we knew they were, had a good team. So coming into that game, we knew what we had to do. We, 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 our team all thought that we could definitely win this game. We can't get caught up just like Sierra can. We can't get caught up in the hype or whatever. We just had to play our game. Don't play selfish and just listen to what our what coach says. Was guys lose? Yeah, for sure. I think I think people thought we were gonna lose because I mean, we got Rob. Rob's definitely nice, but um, I think everyone thought we were gonna lose, especially just media and parents, really. You think the team parents thought you guys were gonna lose? No, I'm saying just other oh. other team, other teams, other parents. Our parents, I think I think our parents. I'd hope our parents would think we're gonna win because I don't think they got caught up in the hype. But after that, that game, that game was super packed because that was the first time playing on the main court. So that was super dope because there was it was kind of packed and everyone was all the media was there, had me a little excited. <laughs> but um, after that one, we ended up winning. We blew them out by a lot. Gus ended up getting hurt, so I don't know if that affected too much, but he ended up getting hurt. And then it was time for the championship game the next day, I think. Our preparation, our focus, all that stuff, we got to be locked in. Well, Coach, just to reach this point, I know, you know, because the open division is a little bit different than everything else with, with CIF. And, you know, you, you have your pool and you got, you know, whoever finishes on top of the pool, you advance. And you guys had to beat Modern Day in your final pool play game. And then you were kind of waiting to see what was going to happen in the other game. Do you guys have practice again? Uh, no, not today. Just uh, right now, we're just like easing into it. We just have practice on Mondays after school, and then we'll practice like tomorrow morning, I believe, because Wednesday we have late start, so it's at it starts at school starts at nine. At that point, our team was so tired. We had played 13 games in 13 days, and like we were all dead tired. And like some of us, we were all sore. Some, something was hurting on everybody's body. And then we ended up, we went to practice, didn't really do much. We walked through everything because everyone was just tired. We only had, we only had enough gas for the game, but we ended up coming into that game. We knew what they had, they were big. They're uh, they're from Texas, so they're gonna they're gonna try to play bully ball. They're huge. They have Ron, who 
who, who played a really good game. Do pick it up, throw it through. There's two of these. Pick it up, throw it through, pass it in, then tell that guy to get out and get an ISO post. the size comparison like from you guys to them what you see? so we had our tallest player i think was six seven i think jacob's like six seven six eight but they had like multiple six nine six like, seven their shortest compared to i think their shortest was a point guard who was probably about my height or a little bit shorter maybe like six one six two but every other position <laughs> every other position was got to be at least six five that was that was like the standard for even their subs it was just like six five six nine why not? Their 17th has made it to the championship twice in a row and lost both times. So that was like a major thing he kept, you know, emphasizing to us to uh, to play that game and win that game. Was that why not's first ever championship? Yep, because they they've only been a program for three years, and oh. they've yeah they've only been a program for three years. So they went to championship first year, championship second year, and then third year was us. Does uh, Russell Westbrook ever talk to you guys? Or? Yeah, yeah, he came to the practices, like, and he came to the games towards the end. I think he had to go to, like, a wedding or something, but he came towards the end, and he just, you know, he kept talking to us and telling us just, just play our game. He's super cool dude. Like, he's not, he doesn't get too negative on us. I mean, he didn't get negative to me at all, and I don't think to the team, so he just keeps it positive. He keeps it real, like, just. What has he told you? Personally, I mean, he was like, he knew I could shoot, so he just told me, like, keep shooting if my shot's off. Like, if you miss 10 times in a row, shoot the 11, like, you made your first 10. Like, he just kept telling me, just be positive, which that's, like, my main thing, so I have to. So, yeah, he just kept telling me to be positive and just play my game. So we were down, I think, 27 to 12, I think it was. And then we came into halftime and our coach, Reggie Morris, I've never heard him scream ever in my life. I've never heard him scream. We, wa we walk into the locker room. He starts screaming at us like crazy, like insane. And like we were all kind of shocked. Like we, we sat down and he was like, no, nah, get up right now. Get up. <laughs> you're, not, you're not sitting down. And then he just, he, he yelled at us, he was like, I'm not losing three times in a row, like, this is not how it's gonna go down. You guys are gonna keep fighting, keep coming back. And after that, he told us, he's like, I don't wanna see one person walk out of there, I wanna see you run to the bench. So if you see at halftime, we're literally just sprinting to the bench. Kind of embarrassing, but uh, we run, we were sprinting to the bench, and we knew what we had to do. We had to just, I mean, me, me and Kylan especially, and Aaron, we've all been here before. We've been in these games, we're down, or it's tied, or it's a big game, obviously, so. We came out and we just kept we kept like chipping away at the at their lead. Finally, we got it to close, and then I was like, okay, we got this. We actually we were up ten, I think, with like two minutes to go, and then they kept they came they came back, and then it was a tie game. Went into overtime, did all the stuff, and then it came down to this their point guard he. Dusty, our player, tried to take a charge and they caught it at like a block or a, at the last second. We had no time on the clock and it was a tie game. And all, or no, we were, we were up by one and all he had to do was make two to win the game. He makes the first one and my heart like drops. Like I'm like, I'm like about to cry at this what point. Time is left? There's no time on the clock. There's literally oh. no time. Or like, like point two or something. Like it was something like you couldn't, we had to take it out full court. Like you, yeah. the game was over if he makes both of these. So he makes the first one and I'm like, my hands were on my knees. And I, I literally, I said a prayer right then. I was like, please God, like, please let him miss this free throw. Like, please, I will do anything. I just literally what I prayed to and he missed it. And so then it was overtime for the second time. Yeah, we went to double, did we go triple or was it double? Kept going back and forth, back and forth, bucket for bucket, just trading and then Went into another overtime, just another shot went up, excited. And then uh, after that, we they missed, I think, again. And we came down and we, we all kind of knew we were gonna win. So 
winning Peach, like especially because we played, that was the 14th game in 14 days. Like we were all dead tired. Like she knows, like we were all just so done at that point. Like it was just, it was like a sense of relief just to know we just, we did all this for a reason. Like we were able to win Peach on ESPN with like everyone there in attendance, like all the, all the media just to win that was just, it was a different type of feeling for sure. So you really don't hang out for real, for real. No. Work out. Yeah. Do homework. <laughs> Sleep. Sleep. I mean, like, like, like the day you came in, I was at a friend's house. But yeah, that was like my one day of the week. I was excited yeah. to go over there. <laughs> but other than that, that's pretty much it. Same stuff every day. I'll go probably go to the football game. That'll probably be the highlight of my week. <laughs> hey, yo, where Nick at? Back there in the cut. Send up into it. Fight on. Yeah, I ain't gonna like. Either. Are you committed? I said the same thing to Donnie. Aaron, bro, you committed? I don't know. Bro, I'm about some 740. I wish. Ain't that right, Jamie? <laughs> 740 is not that much longer than 7. It's, it's, it really doesn't feel like right now. It doesn't feel like right now. I would leave right now. Huh? I would be leaving my house right now. I would be in the shower. Exactly. You wouldn't make it to school if you left right now. Are you practicing or what? Hmm? You practicing? No, I haven't got. Well, I didn't even go to the. Well, well, what does that mean? <laughs> what even was that? No, because I changed my doctor, so I wasn't able to get checked out. So, 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 hi, my name is Gina McCain. I'm Jared's mom. I really was concerned about Jared getting overlooked. I felt like when he was a freshman, we were very excited. He played great and he ended up getting top 25 on the ESPN. We were so excited, shocked and happy. Everything was great. Then, of course, his sophomore year was uh, COVID and that was very hard. In California, we really didn't play much. Maybe other states got more recognition, not quite sure what happened, but um, Jared didn't really get any kind of recognition. Even though he played great, did great, he pretty much was like overlooked, which I know it happens sometimes, but it's frustrating. I was very, you know, nervous just talking about it to my husband and my older son, Jace. He made it me feel very confident that the summer was going to bring a lot of uh, good to Jared and like he was going to get recognized and you know of course I was very nervous just thinking you know just I as, as good as I know Jared is it's all about you know who you know him being seen and then them recognizing him.
I don't think they're real uniforms, no. You only show us the practice. Indeed. No, I thought I showed you guys the real stuff. Mm -hmm. so, you know, Coach Joe, I was like, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> well, then if you're interested, I'll, I'll, I'll get you the new stuff. I'll let you guys see what the new stuff is. Is it nice? I'm black, is it black, red, and white? Black, red, and white? The, the, we got to add, like, one cool color. Our gray? colors are so what basic. Gray? Gray? You know it's against <laughs> CIF rules to not wear we your school. Gray? We, have, yeah, we like, have gray in our school. No, just red no. and black. has to be your no. primary color. But wait, we can't show up. football has gray. We, no, they don't. Yeah, they, they do. do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they have a gray. Yeah, that would be tough. Football has gray. Jay Macaroni. What? Shut up. Shut up. Huh? What'd you do? Yeah, if I saw the speed, I'd be like, I'd be like, I'd be like no, no, Jay, no, dude, no, they're no, making no, me go no, this Saturday. I'm scared. You hate scary stuff. I hate scary stuff. I love saying, but the lead is making me go, bro. I'm just not bad. I'm scared. It's a big school. See someone new every day. You guys work out in the morning at the school? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there tomorrow morning. And then what time are you guys done? Tomorrow we're done at 8.30. And then you have the dentist at what time? 9.30. Dentist at 9.30, workout at what time? 11. I'm pretty sure I was in the kitchen with Jace when I was stressing about all of this. And he was just telling me, Mom, don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. I have no doubt that this summer is going to be amazing for Jared. Pretty much everything Jace said came true. And I can't tell you how how excited we are that everything is working out and moving forward. Long way to go still, but at least he's on the right track as far as being noticed. And um, it's just amazing how Jace calmed me down so much by just uh, confirming to me that, you know, everything is gonna be okay, don't worry. And everything he said was true. So um, thank goodness, thank goodness I had him, or have him, period. So the offer came for us to go to Paul's and Jared was just so excited. So I, of course I had to acknowledge that and, and make the drive for that. And Jared's hard work, you know, pushing me, which in turn makes me want to do everything for him because of course, since he's so into everything, I want to give him every opportunity to make it flourish and to make him, um, you know, have every opportunity and every chance to get better and stronger and with everything you know, in basketball that he wants. Push off light with your hands to come back up. Five reps. <laughs> and then pulling up at the top and rotating with it. The floor, tap the floor, yeah. Hand up at a time. Uh -huh. Other hand up. No, no, your head up as high as you can and push your palms to the sky as high as you can. But you gotta keep the crown of your head like that. So you gotta kinda tuck your chin through here, but you also feel like you're strengthening in between shoulder blades, working the postural muscles. Decompresses the spine and gets it nice and long. It's good for your posture after slumping over at a desk all day. Yeah, that was when like good music was hot. It was like uh, Big Sean was like young, just yeah. coming on the scene. Push the, a T was killing. The saggy, everything was baggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's uh, Psy High to Prince. Good jean, music. Jean shorts. Yeah. Raise, raise. Long, tall spine. All over there and you're like, oh my hamstrings. <laughs> Oh my hands. Like you could do that. You can't yeah, do it. Of course I can. You can't do it Nordic. I could go out there. Hey, you can't. I'll stretch. I could check the oh, time. Have you ever worked out in your of life course. before? Of course I have. Yeah, of course. I could jump in the pool right now with you and we could race and I'd still beat you. I didn't Yeah, you were stretch. you were a swimmer. Obviously yeah, you're going to oh, beat you me. You got pro. Pro swimmer. You can run the world pro. Hey, come on. This is You guys are all set up a great day. Thank, Thank you. you. My pleasure. Thank you.
still have a long ways to go and kind of put uh, some stuff in. We, we kind of have everything in already. I mean, because mo most of them are returners, so everyone kind of knows what to do already. Did you guys, I know Coach was considering playing against or, ex or playing an exhibition against maybe one of the overtime teams? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's going to happen. You guys feel ready for that? Yeah, I want to see how that they are. I'm like, I'm like Mr. Put. I'm not fully Mr. Put it on. Who Mr. Put it on? Nobody, team. nobody here is, nobody here is Mr. Actually, Mr. Put it on. Okay, besides me and you, who dressed the best? John Jay Lee, Jay Aaron, Lee. Aaron, John Jay Lee. Aaron for sure. Jay Lee for sure. Look, you can just tell by his fit right now. What? Really I wear nice shoes doesn't mean I'm throwing on a fit. You gotta learn that. Nah, sometimes you just gotta come with a fit. They just gotta wear expensive shoes. I mean, it's a fit. Y'all gotta learn that. Like, I don't know that. You're talking to Ramsey over there. You have HB? Oh, you're online, huh? Yeah, why would it be HB? It's free games. I don't go to a lot of football games. I don't go to games. I'm not going to all. The only two games I went to is the It is probably hard for you to be missed to put it on at 6 11. Okay, and then the flip grip. Hey, questions? All right, let's go. 170. We've been over. Now we went 90. It's a whole 30 pounds heavier than you, man. Yeah, Ram. You see it? Woo! Ah! Hit this off. This is my least favorite thing to do on camera. <laughs> uh, come on. Those are easier. Come on. I know these are, right? How many you said? Ten. Ten? Not eight? You sure? No, those are ten. Those are way easier. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Woo! Good. Good, Jay. That's four. You got five more. Come on. Good. Two more, two more, two more. Hey, man. I can do anything else. When we're doing that stuff, we have to be, it's head to toe. We got to be in all that stuff. Yes, sir. What did you just use we're getting? I have no clue. That, um, or going against, you know, prep schools and all this other stuff that are, you know, all top 10, top 15 in the country. So it's a great test for us early on to see where we're at. Um, so you're playing against not teams that are good. You're playing against great teams. Any um, questions for me? With all that stuff, and they can have all the hires that they want. Um, and we've been the, you know, a lot of you guys have been there and done that with some of the other stuff. We did it with Hillcrest before we played last year. And I think we did it in the CIF championship game with Sierra Kane. Those are like all-star teams, right? If you play harder, it's really simple. You just gotta play harder than they do. You gotta do the stuff that they're not willing to do, and we'll be just fine. Go to the game? To the homecoming game? Yeah. Of course they'll be there. What'd you expect, Nate? I can't. Oh, you're not gonna go. Hi. In here, bro. Drink ice. Hey, that lemonade? It's pulp, yeah. Yeah, who gets lemonade from Chick-fil-A? Bro, you get fruit punch. Or you get the Sun Joy. The Sun Joy let it slide. What? You don't get the Sun Joy? No, you the get iced tea lemonade mix? I get light lemonade. See, you're too extra for me. I just get, you get a the lemonade. Sun, a large Sun Joy, right? You get what is Sun Joy? It's the iced tea they have, a sweet iced tea. And a lemonade mix. Text it to me, I'll try it next time. Really? I'm getting my first haircut in like six months. No, Alright, I'm not cutting it off. Get waves. Get waves. <laughs> Why you see how good this looks? Why you see this? You like that? That looks so crazy. It's probably dollar fifty or something. And that was two seventy something. Yeah, but probably not. They don't probably last for the plane. This will probably be gone by tonight.
The juice might make it through. Oh, you only get juice once in a while? It's like once never. Ever. <laughs> I don't think you've ever, only she's ever bought juice since yeah. like first grade. It's been a while. It's got so much sugar in it. <laughs> Y'all get this. I drink all six though. No. No, for real. That's Wait, no, no, this. What am I doing? Sparkling cider. No. Is that the one? They have other. That's crazy. <laughs> I can do no look too. It's a phone baby. Hold on. When do you usually go to the store? Never. I never go to stores like like this right here. This is like once every six, seven months I get this. What's the occasion this is today? Uh just me being at the store is the occasion. There is no occasion. Let's go. Do you only drink water? Yeah. Yeah. Water and almond milk. He gets lemonade once in a while when he goes, like, this, what is this? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's lemonade. Once at, he says you once in a while. Water and milk is what I drink. This, these two things right here, once every eight months, six months, like <laughs> Halloween, Christmas, and then it circles back to Halloween. Oh my god. What about the snacks you get on the visit? Do you eat all those? That's or? true. Yes, he when did. snacks are given to me, that I do eat those. I mean, he's probably uh, the worst one in the family. Unless you have a big order, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I was going to ask you about that. You guys... I used to get just a spicy chicken sandwich, but that wouldn't fill me up. So I had to get the eight count nugget as well. So. The last time you cut you down was six months ago? Nah, not about six months. No, it was, it was like, I was like, it's been oh. a while though. <laughs> but no, it hasn't been a while, it's like three weeks. That's, that's, that's pretty long. I mean, no, yeah. No, it's probably a month, it was probably a month. Cause I think I got it before I went to, uh, I would say his freshman year, immediately when he started, he wanted to be at school the first. He wanted to be there like at 6 a.m. so he can get shots up in the morning. He wanted to stay in the afternoon and get shots up in the afternoon. So I knew right away he was committed to totally um, doing whatever it took. It's like we talked about it all the time. He would tell me I, I got goals. He started writing goals down. He started writing, you know, what he wanted for himself and for the team. Paris Dawson, a senior when Jared was a freshman, he was a great role model. He was a very hard worker. So Jared saw him and he wanted to uh, go as hard or harder. He was the hardest working player on the team. So Jared wanted to be, match him or go harder so that he could be the hardest working player on the team. So he was like, I'm just gonna do this. And he wanted to be there like I said, first in the morning, um, 5.30 sometimes, 6 a.m. He'd get a workout with Shannon, and then they'd start at 7.30. He was always the first one at school. Hence the cut more. You'll see what it does. Okay, okay. <laughs> Stay, yeah. <laughs> Time to get waves now. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Wrong, bro. Yeah. Nah. That's actually a great reminder. What's <laughs> 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 in that row? <laughs> yeah, this is mine. You know what I'm saying? Look at the. The King Curls. Hold on, I mean, know it. Where's it at? Polo. Is it custom? No, this brand just sent it to me, like this hair brand. They're actually called King Curls, but it may just made sense for me. But So it's not real polo? <laughs> actually, 
it might be a real polo robe with just like their branding on the back, but oh. this is this is what I need to lock in and do my homework. This is this is my fit. So you really like wash like every single day? No, for real. Like hey. I'm trying not to use a lot of detergent, but it's hard because I'm sweating and stuff. So I gotta. Water bill must be LV. Every day. <laughs> Every day. Wait, let me see my... See, I only have one left now. I ate all. I ate all of them. I told you I don't get these often, so when I get them, it's wraps. They they're gone. Different. They're gone really fast. So are, are you ahead again, or are you trying to get ahead? I'm trying to. This is rough because I fell asleep in the car, so I didn't get any homework done today. So I had to do. I have to do it all right now, but I should be in bed right now. But it might be a long night for me. Man, what time are you gonna wake up tomorrow? I'll wake up at five. Yeah. All days. Yeah. Gotta maintain the four point oh. So, so these are like it's like real teachers, right? That you yeah, so on? like these are all like like uh these are all my teachers, Ramsey, Thies Meyer, Tucker, and then like here is like my email. I have it on my phone too. Email any of my teachers if I need help, but it's kind of hard for them because they don't have, I guess they didn't expect a lot of people to be online, so sometimes they don't get back to your email. Oh, they teach in person as well? Yeah, I, or I think they just have a lot of people online too. Oh. But, like, to un to unlock a test, they have to look at your notes, but you have to submit the notes. That's why, like, like my history, there's so many notes. So this was just one unit, and I had to submit all these, and then they have to look over them. That's a lot of paper. Yeah, no, for real. And this is two pages. I, I at first I was using one page. Online school looking expensive. Dude. <laughs> but I mean, I think it's worth it. Yeah. But sometimes it is. It does get rough. Or we'll get back at it tomorrow. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll be. I'll be up here. I'll see you tomorrow. Of course, we always felt like he could go to college and play, but it's like at what level or, you know, how much attention is he going to get? But when I when he started shooting the way that he shot his freshman year and he, he got like nine threes in one game and eight threes in another game, like we knew okay, he, he definitely has a good shot. <laughs> that was the first level where we thought, okay, this is going bigger than we could have even um, imagined. And, and you know, when, you're, um, when you have kids that play sports, everybody reaches for the stars, um, but we always were very grounded as far as like, okay, yes, you have goals, you, you shoot for everything, but reality is we want to get our school paid for. That's the goal. We have a long ways to go, he has a long ways to go, but the platform is getting smaller for all these players, and it seems like Jared is included in one of the top players right now, and so I feel like he has a great chance to play, have a, you know, great, do wonderful in college, and who knows what the next step may, may be for him. It would be amazing if he can go on and, and to the next level, but just taking it slow and Continue to work. That's the best thing. Continue to work. When Sapper's in the house, I don't want to eat meat for the next two weeks, bro. Whoa! Look at the sides. These aren't even that beef. It's just leather. Leather gets like that. They're not beef, bro. Where's your big brother at? Little Ramsey? Or is he Big Santana? He's big bro, look. Or is he big so Is he Big Santana then? Yeah, he's Big Santana. Uh, Michael, who's guarding, who's guarding uh, MJ Wright? Who's guarding Ano Moda? <laughs> that's him right that's, here. That's, 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 that's him. You have to guard Jordan. You, it's Mando just because of the protection.
Trey, but Trey White, Trey White starts frying, then I gotta guard Trey. What do you say? What do you say when he left? What do you say? He texted me on Snapchat. Sure he texted me on Snapchat saying that he'll fry us. And then starting with Donnie. Because in Hoop Nation, when he played with us, Donnie was the starting point guard, and he wasn't. There's beef already. No, he actually has beef with you because you dropped him. First practice. Wasn't it like first practice with us? No, I was, it was the one I was there. Wait, wait, Jerry so made him a nene. Yeah, he dropped him. made him nene. I wasn't even there to see him. I don't know. Donnie, what did he do? What did you do to make Jerry the nene? <laughs> I went like, it was like a fast break, and I went like this. Yeah. Yeah, like that, he fell and hit the nene. I wasn't there. <laughs> 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 he fell on his back. Like back. Really on his back. Oh, Pope might start. Dink so. Pate. No, Pope won't. Ben. What? Oh my god, six foot. They're actually not. Oh, never mind. Seven one. I was gonna say, they're not that tall, and then I went past Alec. Whatever. Seven one. Six seven, six eight, six eight, six five, six six, seven one, six eight, six ten. You got what? Six, six ten. Wow. And then they have more. Six, ten, they, have, they have more sec at seven one. <laughs> That's interesting because I didn't know that he was going to make a varsity team. Like in the summer, I was so nervous about it. He played really well in eighth grade and, and he did do a good showing in eighth grade. So I felt like it was warranted, but you never know when you're coming into a new school, you don't know anyone. For him just to get the chance to play on the varsity, we thought that was great. And actually my husband always joke about great if he can get like you know, a few minutes here and there in each quarter or something, that would be great. And then uh, just so happened three players that were on the team that were starters left and he had a chance to work for that spot um, once he did get on, you know, he did make varsity. That was amazing first. It's weird because I felt like over COVID, him and Jace, he was like, I'm gonna work out every day. And he was running around the neighborhood and then they'd go to the park and they'd play basketball and once once Jared put those goals on his uh, wall that's when he really decided um, he was going to meet those goals. I, I think that he wrote them and he's been able to check off quite a few. I don't even know how many but he's still got more up there to complete but that's what keeps him going too. He's so um, driven by you know what he sets as his goals. work because I have my oh, visit tomorrow. Okay. I'm doing my schoolwork on the visit. It was way too hard for me at Louisville. So I, like, I need to do it before. Uh, Lou, uh, where? Louisville. Oh, it's, it's Lou. It's not Lou. It's Lou. What's your fit looking like? I'm wearing your shorts. Bro, give me them back. Oh, they're mine now. I did not give those to you. Got the S from my girlfriend, Sydney. Got to LGBTQ. That's how we rockin'. We rockin', we rockin with everyone right now. We had def definitely several talks about him having a girlfriend, and one of the things, you know, Lance had all, my husband always said, like, you can't have a girlfriend until you're 16, so it wasn't even a thought, and so finally, you know, he's 16, and um, he is in high school, and 
you know, was interested in a girl, but he came to me and he's like, I can't do, I, I just can't have a girlfriend, mom, because I need to stay focused. And it was so important to him to stay focused and not have a girlfriend, which I was absolutely, my husband and I both were shocked. We were just like, who is this kid, you know? <laughs> but very, very proud that he, you know, he's got his priorities in order, basically. Squared up into Jared. Jordy, you're setting the pick. If I'm square, remember you're hitting, rolling. You decide how to keep me, get, get back the way you came. So if I'm pushing you here, about the elbow, yep, you whip back. Okay. course we hadn't heard from anyone really um, not too much you know not too much going on and then all of a sudden June 15th was the first day that the college coaches could actually contact us and now it's after EYBL and um, you know the section 7 EYBL and then the top 100 camp he really started getting more and more and now it's the funniest thing because you want something so bad and then it finally comes and then it's like Holy crap, you know, they call all the time and and he's really good about uh, making sure to call everybody back, but it's it's like a full-time job even though no complaints. It's what we wanted. It's just it's quite overwhelming. That's all I need really? Stand, you just need a different thing to hold the mic. It should be good. Now this is lock number two. Lock number two. Houston official visit. Is it crazy? Ready? Huh? Is it be ready? Um, I don't know, probably I'd say next week because Calvin's editing, so. <laughs> Let me know. All right, coach. You too. It kind of stress you out sometimes with all the uh, recruiting that's going on for you right now? I mean, it, a little bit, like, getting, like, a bunch of calls and stuff, but, I mean, it's what I wanted. Like, I, yeah. it can't be, like, some, like, because some people would dream to be in my position, so I can't, like, take take it for granted. But yeah. sometimes just trying to do homework or something, and they call, and you feel like you have to answer. But, I mean, this is what I dreamed of, so I'm just going with the process. Still enjoying it. Another day with the laundry. Another day, another, another load. Quick wash. Need that done quick. There's only 250 in the world, and like I did research for these. You understand? I was, I think it was my homeschool seventh grade year, so I was like, what, 13 or something? I did so much research to get this shoe. I had to beg my mom to pay for it because I think they were 250 retail. But there's only 250 in the world, so these are crazy. The Kyrie Mom with the rose, favorite shoe ever. My pride and joy. How'd you get that? These, see, this was like, well, these came out. I think also my seventh grade year. Sean Witherspoon. If you know Round Two, the store, I they have episodes. Like, they, do you know Round Two, the store? Do you know their episodes? I literally religious. I've watched all their episodes like four times each. I Good love Sean. To that. I literally love Sean so much, bro. And when he came out with this, I would voted voted hella times for him to come out with this. Um, then they came out. Of course, I didn't get them because they were so limited. But I bought them for five hundred because at that time they were going for only five hundred, and now they're like eleven $1 hundred. But this shoe, bro. Then they doubled. They doubled, yeah. Dang. But. This shoe means so much to me. Like, I literally love this shoe so much. I wish I could wear this more, but like, they're just too, they're too like, they're too out there to wear them every day. I'm not about to just pull up to a workout with these on. There's, there's no point in doing that. What All about the, the nice dunks, the common ones? These ones? Pandas. These I got, these I got actually before they came out. They're so beat. Jeez. Wait, what? Yeah, I got these. 
Because they came out in Europe first, and I got these, like, a month before some they released. I got. How do you know I just got real? My, I got my stock X. Oh, okay. Yeah, they were just on there because it said Euro exclusive, and then they ended up coming out again for the Panda for the U.S. release. Shorts more than anything in my closet. Shorts are my pride and joy. Shorts, oh my god. Any brands? Hit me up. I love shorts. Wait, which one are those from? I see those a lot though. Which ones? The these, flag ones. These are from. I think it says it on here. Yeah, Rai. How much are those? Real Rain? I have no idea they sent them to me. Shirt. Oh, that's tough. This I got from... You... Wait, let me get this name right, because they actually show so much love. They sent the, the Shay shirt. They sent a Devin Booker shirt. I think it's... Isn't it Shy or it's Shay? I have no... I actually... Literally, I've heard both. It's called Ezra? Ezra Pharaoh. How much do they usually go for? Uh, these are cheap, I'm pretty sure. They're like 25 30 I mean, if you count that cheap. It's not too bad. Yeah. Isn't that PacSun? No, nah, I got this. This is from this brand. Asmok Kids Racing. I don't even know. I just for saw free? it. free? Uh, this one, I think I paid for, but I think they ended up sending me something. Because I asked them before. How can people get like stuff sent for free? Dude, just DM them. I mean, like, I'm very lucky I got the blue check because it pops oh. up way quicker now for them. But, like, what do you say? I, <laughs> Cindy, Cindy laughs at this for me. But I literally just put, I put, yo, or like, what's up, or like something like that, just so they can get the yeah. conversation. And then it just, I'll be like, is there any way I can get some gear uh, from you guys or something like that? These are tough. Yeah, these just got sent to me. Wow. I like this color, the brown. It's nice material. Showing love does. Well, which brand is this? I have no idea, to be honest with you. Dude, I have no idea. That's tough. I think it's like Broken Planet or Broken Plant. The company has these two. How do you like choose like how you're gonna wear stuff? Like, where do you get your style from? Um, I mean, I think, like, the biggest style right now is just short shorts and a graphic tee. I think I just... Mr. Put It On. <laughs> that's why That's why I don't call myself Mr. Put It On. I think I call myself Mr. Put It On when I put, like... Like, I actually got these pants. Where do you get your style, though? Like, um, just looking on Instagram? My Instagram Explore page, I guess. Oh, no, this dude who was actually, I DM'd him. He sent me his. Oh, I gotta show you these. These are actually fire. I just washed them. Maybe they're in the dryer. The one you're talking about. Oh, like, this yeah. was that real material. Yeah. This is. These are the happy memories. Don't die. Yeah, happy memories don't die. But I think they just. Those aren't died. even that short, right? These ones. Yeah. These are really short. Oh. Actually, cause yeah, they go up to like. They're pretty high. They go up to like here. These one, Lulu shorts. All time favorite. Okay, yeah, this is the dude. Those aren't that short, right? Yeah, these aren't that. I rolled That's these. the same brand as the Mets? No, no, this is that one dude's brand who I, I get my style from. Not that I get my style from him, but like, he, where my phone go? Shirt on. <laughs> He's got the shirt I have. Wait, that's his brand too, or no? Nah, that was, that's someone else's brand, but my all time. Like, I just like this look, like the, with the cardigan with some jeans or like what do you call that is that like hesh dude no? i have no idea i'm trying to pull off something with these i don't know what i'm about to still on i don't know yeah exactly you were with me when i bought these actually yeah. huh i don't know how i'm gonna pull these off but we're gonna do something i gotta wear a nice i gotta wear a nice fit to the houston dinner so i think we're gonna go with You used to wear a collar shirt or it just has to look nice? I think it just has to look nice. Where did you get those from? Target. If you, no. If you need cargo pants, go to Target. How do you can just put it with like any of those. Actually, I might just put on a fit just, just to see what I'm going to wear. I'm trying. There's a difference between like when I'm, when I'm trying hard and I'm trying not to be 
Like, I'm not trying hard, but I'm still trying to look stylish, kind of. Yeah. That's the hardest. That's when I'll just throw on, like, a nice, like, graphic tee and some nice shorts with, like, some Crocs. Because, mm. like, it's like, oh, he's not trying hard, but it still looks good. You know what I mean? True, true. So, like, here. So I wouldn't go this with this. I think I might just go black and go with... the top 100 camp I had no clothes and I had to literally my mom had to uber to Walmart to give me underwear socks a toothbrush deodorant and oh, the socks I think you told me about that like how you just got the call yeah no literally I got after peace jam I got the call to go to the camp and like I was on I was boarding my way boarding my flight back to back to here corona and I got the call from John Lucas and he was like you just got the invite, and I was like, well, after you, playing 14 days. But well, see, what, you just got off the plane? Yeah. No, I got I got off the plane in Houston, oh, and then oh. and then I was boarding my flight to Corona. Like, you were, like, on the plane? I was about, we were about to board. Like, A's, like, uh, A's were boarding. I was in an A group, and I got the call. Is this all they're going to pack, or you still? I'm still debating. I don't know how much I really need to pack can't decide well how long are the visits usually three days for officials three days well like two days and then the third day is like meet with the coach or like and then leave that same day do they have someone like what if you get hungry at night and you eat all your snacks they they feed i mean well that hasn't happened to me but on my one official i was i was fed really well wow yeah it was to them the walmart these are the walmart joints Nice. Just great quality. God, this is the only thing I hate about doing laundry. I hate finding socks. Those. These ones are the $80 one. These are expensive. Sheesh. These ones are expensive, but I love these ones. So. I can't tell if this goes. Nick, what do you think? Is that go? You know what they call me. How long do you think you're gonna keep doing this vlog thing, though? I don't know. I mean, like, I'm gonna try to do it, especially in to, in college. I feel like that'd be cool. I feel like it's like a personal little documentary for myself. I'm gonna see challenges with my girlfriend. You know, praying to God we stay together. <laughs> We're gonna see. I mean, mukbangs, of course. I love eating, so gotta do that. Vlogs, day in the lives, really anything y'all want. Like, it doesn't really matter. Okay, wait, what happened? Why did it flip? Starting this vlog and stuff, I think people might say, like, it might distract you. I mean, yeah, I mean, you could say that, but I mean, I'm just doing this for fun. Like, I don't even really care about the money. That's not the main goal here. I mean, main goal is obviously the NBA, but I just feel like it's cool to document this stuff. Especially since I was like, when I was like in like seventh grade, I was searching up day in the life of Jalen Green or some Josh Christopher. I wanted to see all those people's day in lives and like it'd be cool to see it from my perspective. I feel like I mean Nick has his own, I could have my own, so I feel like it's cool to see. But, so you feel like they didn't show you enough? Yeah, I feel like it wasn't. I mean, like you see like the slam videos or something like that, but I don't know. It wasn't enough to me. I just wanted wanted more. So I felt like this could be that extra stuff you would want or something. Not that you're like a big celebrity, but. Do you kind of feel for now for celebrities that get no, a lot of hate? No, literally, like, I, I had this conversation with my mom. I was like, I get why, like, how he says, like, on a Snapchat, he was like, no friends or whatever, like, circle small or whatever. Because, like, you can see how people just will turn or, like, they don't, you don't trust anyone because someone will say this behind your back or something you heard. But it, you really start to understand why they say that stuff. And not that, like, I'm a celebrity or anything, but just, like, the little bit that I have, you can tell stuff like that happens a lot more it's like there's like two things involved in it because you got it you obviously care what people say about yourself but you can't care what they say about yourself Hi, yeah. uh, here 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 oh wait 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 you 
guys need shirts. You guys need shirts. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you can can have can have feast jam all over again. Hold him. You're going this way? Yes, I told you already. It's here. Here. Right. Airline. You're driving? Yeah. Because it's only a drive. Perfect. I'm on the loser. Ah! I miss Kylan. Yeah, coming back. You'd be like, I'm back. Presents, bro. Kylan, if you're listening, I love you and miss you. What about the OP? You don't miss him? Oh my god, Jared asked me to ask you if there's brownies. I'll pick some brownie next to us. I'll, I will make a mind who has vanilla ice cream. No way. Of course. You want to do that another day or today? No, I will do it for some of brownies. Going into quarantine, Jared probably had 3,000 followers on TikTok. Like, I remember because we always just talk about it. We're like, oh, 3,000, damn, that's a lot. Like, we're like, that's a lot. And like, slowly over quarantine, like, working out with Paul and stuff, he showed off his legs one time, I guess, and like just shot up to like 100K out of nowhere. It was like out of nowhere, Nick. Just shot up 100K, we're like, whoa. And then he went to Peach Jam and killed in Peach Jam. And like a shot up to like 300, 400K, and then he slowly started getting recognition for his basketball and stuff. So like it was like kind of cool to realize like one of my teammates like is getting a lot of exposure that he deserves because he worked, he's always worked really hard for it. To keep it 100. I have more followers than him on Instagram and TikTok. It, like, it's crazy to see like how much he just took off over those few months. Cause now it's like it's not even close. No, I knew eventually he was gonna get the recognition that he deserves, but like the TikTok one was insane to me. It was like when Cal didn't rank him after the CIF game, like the All State team and all that. They didn't put him on anything. I made first team and Kyler made first team. Like Jared should be right behind his first team, and if not second team, lowest. And the fact that he was on none, none of the top three teams, it was just insane to me. I, I felt like his frustration, and I was like, bro, don't worry, they're gonna slowly start to recognize everything. And then when he went to PGM and did his stuff, I was like, look at that's what I'm talking about, like, do you. So it was like cool for him to like get over that hump, and like it probably felt relieving for him. class is this? Sociology. Is this a good class? Like Christmas time? Yeah. I don't care as long as we go. <laughs> is it gonna be a movie to read? I guess. Oh, it's not? Okay, that's fine. You gonna do yoga today? No, yeah. I, I usually don't do it on um game days. I usually like just stretch. Oh, okay. I just stretch on game day. I don't know why I never, like I did it like one time. I didn't do it, the yoga on game day. I didn't like how like my arms felt heavy, but that was usually when I did it like, it was like after school. So like right before the game. So if I did it now, it probably wouldn't affect it because the games are so much later. But I just kept doing that where I don't do it on game day. I'll just stretch though. Like at PCM, I'll just go down to the weight room and just stretch. And I'll meditate after, after the game. Oh, no. Have a good class. Bye. Bye. It's not too bad. I mean, it's not that long distance because she's only in Santa Barbara. But like, since I don't drive and she doesn't have a car out there, it's kind of oh. like longer. But it's not too bad. She takes a train. I think we'll see each other like every other weekend. I think now, well like this weekend she couldn't come because we had a tournament in Vegas. And, her class was today, so she couldn't leave, but I think we'll start seeing each other every other weekend. But I get to share two weekends in a row. Next weekend okay. and Halloween weekend. And I think I'm visiting UCSB for a visit, so I guess here another weekend. So let's yeah. go. We were thinking about, like, what if you went, not that you would, but if you, like, went to a prep school, you wouldn't have a lot of work. Yeah, I can see that, but. I know I like what I'm doing now. It's not easier, but I can do stuff on my own time at the prep school. It's more strict, I feel like, for like. No, I mean like a, like say like a vertical academy or, oh. a, or a prolific prep or a, hmm. even those teams in the grind session, where you know they have to do their work, but it's kind of like. Yeah, I think like 
I don't know. I just like being home. Like, I, I don't think I could be away from my parents like that. Uh, like, I mean, I'll be prepared for college, but, like, I don't know why I would... When I have everything, I have my mom, I have everyone with me right now, so I don't know why I would really leave that situation. This isn't, like, it's not crazy. I don't think it's that yeah. crazy. So I don't think it'd be that much weight lifted, especially with my family being here. It's, like, when you even it out, I think it's better for me. So you don't mind it? Yeah, I don't yeah. mind it too much. Sometimes it gets, like... Especially because it's online, and, like, some teachers don't respond quick enough. But other than that, if you just do your work, that's the thing, though. If you get behind in online school, it's bad. But shout out Kylan. He showed it to me. Very sus, but gets the job done. So Gunna over a little baby on the West Coast. For sure. That's that's who I like. Gunna's more of a vibe. Like he's more just I know Jared was pretty good when we played 14s. Because at the time he was working on stuff like after he was a catch and shoot guy, like me. Afro, fat, oh, catch and shoot guy. Tracks. That was him. But you know, he would try his stuff doing off the dribble. So I'm like I always known like, okay, he's really good. And it was me, Aaron, you know, Trent, Ro, all these guys. Like we knew that I was like, okay, Jared's going to be really, really good. And the freshman year, you know, playing against him as well, like, he was strictly catch and shoot. Like, I had to be everywhere on the floor when we played him. So now that he developed over this whole, like, that whole so summer, freshman going into sophomore year, he, he developed a lot. So, yeah, he's, he's, been, he's been good, but now it's, like, it's known that he could really get the ball on the floor and stuff like that. Kane, one of the best outside shooters in the country, regardless of class. He's getting to the point in his game when he misses the shot. You're surprised. One of the best shooters we'll see this afternoon. Oh. It's like heaven. We got this TV pool, hot tub. I'll be in the hot tub tonight for sure. The trampoline over there. No seconds on the shot clock. Just made the free throw. State championship. Nick's gonna be there going crazy. Nick's gonna be on the sideline. Come on, Nick. Get on the court. What are you up to now, T Jazz? Oh, yeah. Nick's really a hooper. Nick really got it like that. Nick, Nick got handles, right? Be laughing behind the camera. He has followed me for a long time. I had a jelly at the Balls Life All American camp. I was like fat and like, I think I was like 12 or something. Every practice, <laughs> we, be, we be going out of practice. No, we good, we good. <laughs> he went off in one practice. I was hot. He scored like five in a row. Like three on me, Highland, Dior, Donnie, me. Like that was crazy. He'd be here with it. <laughs> if he does that to me today, it might be raps. That's the move I just know him by. <laughs> Me and Donnie go at it. Me and Kyle needs to go at it. All the stuff I do right now, he'd be he'd be there every time. Everything together though. Paul, Shay, and then we go to practice. He would always ask to come over, and he'd have, he'd have no clothes, and I have to give him all my clothes. But I was I didn't care. That was your guy. Yeah, that's my dog, man. My Even the shorts, you gave him some of the shorts. Shorts, underwear, bro. He was wearing it all, bro. He's probably wearing them tonight. He actually pushed me to slide into Sydney's DMs. Oh. He's actually one of the main guys. Him, him and uh, Cortland, Colin, and Kalen. I think he came over for Thanksgiving last year. Dang, you guys are really tight. Yeah, yeah, we were tight. There's much food outside too, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know why, I like, I like eating heavy. <laughs> I don't know why, like, when I play on like an empty stomach, I feel like I have like no energy at all. But when like I play full, like <laughs> when I play full, I be I be like I feel like I have more energy. But like not too full. There's there's a yeah. definitely a limit. I picked it up. Oh, I don't I don't I wouldn't wear stickers. Think about it, I got the yellow fours though. Yeah, How much are running for these? Twenty hot. Twenty. 
Oh, where's my bill? I'll be at a bill on that one, boss. How much? A bill. Oh, okay. Uh, or which one? No, which one does it matter? Which one did you want to take out? Uh, I'll probably take out this one. Take out that one? Yeah. I can do 220. 210? I'll be at 220. 215. I'm taking 30 off for this one. 215, bro. You got me, bro. 215. Perfect. Thank you. He might be the funniest player to play with. I'm not even gonna lie to you. He's really stupid. Some of the stuff he says, you just like have to think about it. You have to think. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's me, really. That's me. I just you got you gotta really think about what I'm gonna say to make it laugh. Even on the court, like, I'll say something to like another player, and it'll really like piss them off. And, like, really, and I'm like just laughing, like bro, like what are you talking? About? I'm just I'm messing with you. He probably got threatened at, at the top flight thing we just played in. Like oh, he yeah. probably got threatened like to get punched at least 20 times. I have to like calm the other players. I'm like I swear he don't mean it. Bro. <laughs> swear he doesn't mean it. I don't. I really don't. But if you try to take it to like another level, then I'm like, all right, what's up with you? Bro? Like, <laughs> Do you hear that, ma'am? Oh, yeah. With what? uh caramel or chocolate? Caramel. Caramel of course. And no sex This is crazy. I I got this burn in my pocket. I don't even want to hear Jet. Hush. You guys think this place is good? Go to Ramsey spot? Yeah, that's where all the dudes were last chance you wanted to go. It's good food. Dude, low key. Bro, low key. I, I already know, bro. I already know. <laughs> Wait, so have all you guys known each other for a long time? I, uh, know. I think I know. I've known them two the longest. I, know one I just met this dude. I know exactly. I gave him about. I gave him 30 pieces two years in a row. You want to hear a crazy story about me? I, know. Were, I was probably like 11. What you I was like, like, like seven. I was like seven. No, I was like eight. eight. I was eight. I was eight. My cousin is like his best friend. Oh. So it was like all that. And then, yeah, Drew's. Jay, who you texting over there, bro? <laughs> <laughs> okay. hey, why are you over there grinning while you texting, hey, my boy? Hey, who, girls basketball team? <laughs> From our girls basketball team? Next week, guys, I get to see my girl. You got it. Really makes you appreciate it. I need Lena here. I need Lena here. I need Lena. Man, you Sydney. said I need Lena. Sydney, I miss you, man. Sydney, I miss you. I'm, I'm not, I just need Lena, man. Right here. Ramsey, Ramsey, who, who, who you need? Who you need right now? Who you need right now? Who you need in this moment? Oh, 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 Lena, he needs Cindy. Oh, Kiana, I didn't know what y'all was talking about. Nah, nah, nah. Hit that joint, hit that joint, hit that joint. Hold on. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Bro, want me to go, hey. Bro, you killing my vibe, bro. You gotta get 30. Whoa, oh, hey, oh. Whoa, oh, hey, oh. Whoa, oh, hey, oh. Whoa, oh, hey, oh. Whoa, 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 hey, oh. Hey, uh, hey, hold on, hey, wait, 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 listen, listen, on listen, listen, where my boy at? Oh, my boy Kaylin ain't here. Somebody call Kaylin for me, please, Why? please, Kaylin, please, 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 uh, I don't, I don't really know. Do players on, uh, on the bench? I don't know. Like, we are, we exceeded the limits. Is this bringing the team closer together? I feel like we're going to be great tomorrow. We're about 30. Hey, hey, turn this up. I'm out here doing summer league. Oh, yeah, I yeah, seen yeah. everybody. I seen like Shreve Cooper. On the strip? Yeah. It's cool. We don't usually get to do stuff like this that much, so it's pretty cool to be with him. And just chill with him, talk with him. Are you outside? Oh, we're for sure outside right now. We are outside. We are, hey, we are outside. Hold on. We are for sure outside right now. <laughs> he was in Arizona no, wait, with us. Him to this You're one. not even listening. What are, you, are you talking to me? Yes. Oh, what? He's trying to be, uh, <laughs> he trying to be, he trying to be cuddled up on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on the phone, pouring out a pillow. I ain't gonna lie, to too. Wait, what? Jason, since you're the new guy and everything, was it hard to make friends when he first got here? Nah. Yeah, he's I, very... I took, Nick, he's I took him in like my son, you know? Put him in my Wait, lunch group. Wait, hold on. Put him in my lunch group, you know, I took him in as like my kid. Just to make sure. Tell me I did. Hoop Nation, whose room did you stay in? With me. Wait, nah. Sid right there. What was y'all on in the Houston visit? It was like this. Why? Wait, what do you order? Like 11 bucks is the smallest small? thing? 
What? So how many guys do we have in here? Uh, we're waiting for J oh, we're, we're waiting for Jason, and then that's all. Ramsey's in the back. We can't. We had two in the back. I already, already told nah, you what it was. Jason, Jason in here. Jason, Jason in here. Oh, y'all tripping, oh, son. Nah, you tripping, son. Jason, you can Where's sit. But you Please. coming in here? But you either on my lap Where's or you in the mother? car, bro? Yeah. Oh God. Ramsey did say. Can I put y'all on a song right quick? Let's see. He did it again. Rock quick. Like just say real quick. Rock quick. Where you from? Where you from, Shadi? What up, Nick? <laughs> Let me get one. Wait, you I know, I hear him. Oh, Snatch. Thank you very much. I'm Jace McCain. I'm Jared's little... Damn. I'm Jared's older brother. <laughs> I'm 22 years old. Jared is 17, but I'm about four and a half years older than him. My whole life, we played with a lot of, you know, big time players. I played with Marvin Bagley when I was in sixth grade and then also in high school. Um, I played with Isaiah Mobley, who's at USC now. So I go to Cal State San Marcos. It's a division two in San Diego. You know, I love it there. It's in a beautiful area. Uh, coach lets me hoop. Um, and I got a full scholarship there. It pays for my, you know, housing and uh, school. So that's a blessing. Like, bro, for, to, to be honest, bro, I really found Louisiana. So Strategy for this one, guys. So you run a little bit up to hill, and then you get momentum coming down. You know what I'm saying? They hit like a spring roll. Yo, yo, bro. Junior year, it's going pretty, pretty good. But I start, I start feeling like, like pains in my chest, and I'm like very tired all the time when I'm playing and or hooping. And so it's weird, but I continue to play through it. Uh, but one game it like really hits me. I remember like just sitting on the bench, and I was like. Dang, like, I got, there's something wrong with me, you know, I can't tell what it is. We go to the doctors or whatever, and they diagnose me with myocarditis, something to do with the heart. Yeah, that happens, and I have to sit out probably 10 games or something, you know, most of my junior year. But, you know, I come back, play in the playoffs, and I'm able to play AAU, and I get a bunch of Division II offers. I wasn't, you know, lucky enough to get the D1s, but I had, you know, my fair share of options with the D2s, which is a blessing. Thirty seconds, gotta move, fellas. Come on, Freedy. Let's go, Kalen. <laughs> Five in the pier. Located different. What was the last time? These things are literally like made of steel iron. I might as well just run my underwear. What do you think the pier to pier run is? Oh, uh, you have 18 minutes. It's really not that long. I mean, like how long the distance? Was it like two oh, miles? Oh, it's 2.5, something okay, like that. Yeah. Said it was in two. sand, though, it's gotta be like four, right? Insane. Oh, right? what, how does that add? What do you mean, how does it add? I'm just saying, because you take a step, you go backwards. Where at? Ready, go. And, you know, everything's going well. I'm playing pretty well. And then guess what? Same thing happens again, you know, where my chest is hurting. But this time, it's OD, bro. Like, my chest is hurting, bro. And like, I'm tired after the warm up. <laughs> so I'm having long days at practice, man. Like, I'm just struggling. Coach starts seeing it and is like, why are you, like, you can't even play no defense. Like, I'm just, I, I can't even contribute, really. Like, there was one time I remember in film, uh, like, <laughs> and I was just getting roasted because like, I was literally just standing in the corner and my man was like moving away and I couldn't move, bro. And so it was actually, Halloween night, like bro, I couldn't even sleep because my chest was hurting so much. Number first, when was it? 20, 2018. Go to the doctor. They check me out. They don't see anything. Uh, they check, you know, a bunch of things. Uh, and it, my mom is rushing to the hospital to see, like, you know, what's going on. I'm in the ER. Um, my mom calls uh, our friend Katie Askew, Devin Askew's mom who's at Texas now. We call her and she says, check uh, the D-dimer and that was high. And so that can mean like there's a, I have a pulmonary embolism somewhere. Most people will know it by blood clots. They check to see if I have blood clots and I end up having blood clot in each lung. And you know, when we heard that, it was like, it was crazy, man. Like blood clots can like kill you. So 
And like, I, I still think about that sometimes. Like, like, I don't know if mine were that severe that I could have died, but I'm sure there, there was a possibility. And you know, God definitely blessed me with finding those, you know, in time for, for us to treat them. Sprints to the front of the line. Once he gets there, next guy goes, right? Okay, we're staying with that the, as long as possible. You have 18 minutes. We'll pick you up at the other pier. Oh, Coach, will you really pick us up? We'll pick you up over there and then Thank we'll go you. have some dinner. Thank you. So, so like Indian rules. It's been a fun journey. 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 It's been that's the one, bro. Oh, four? That's the one. Good job, fellas. About 16 minutes. I, I started saying things I'm grateful for. I started looking at the ocean, just kind of thinking about my life and you know how far I've come. It's just a beautiful sight to see. You know what I'm saying? You know, I started looking at the ocean. You know, Thanksgiving's coming up. Nice. Just got to give thanks to the world that God created. You know what I'm saying? I looked at the ocean and started thinking about spaghetti. You look up, and the pier looks like it was the same distance before. You're just yeah. like... It's so, it's so depressing. Oh. I'm like, oh my god, we're not gonna... It was not that bad. Nah, that's... Uh, my hip hurt. Do all that, then do two, four, six, eight again. Yeah. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Donnie, he's gonna hurt. Let's go. Bring it up, bring it up. Come hey, on, family man. on three. One, two, three. Family. family. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's not... Yeah, yeah, you're gonna have fun. Aaron, bro. Aaron, boy. I mean, this is L.A. It's, it's, it's a cold day for L.A., but... Beautiful. I kind of go through a weird, a weird transition in my life to where I'm like, I might not be able to play basketball again. They're saying I might have to stay on blood thinners my whole life. And it's like, man, I played basketball my whole life. What am I going to do? And so I sit out that whole year. But during that time, you know, I'm not saying I'm depressed, but I'm not my normal self. I'm kind of sad. You know, I'm not. This is like my first time not hooping, in, you know, for a whole year. So I'm, pretty, I'm healthy again. We don't know if it's going to happen again. But they ended up finding no cause of it. So that's weird. Like it could come back in any moment, it seems, because we don't know what the cause of it is. I've been healthy since then. I finally played my sophomore year, my redshirt freshman year. You know, I had a solid season, average like 12 points, four assists, four rebounds. I end up becoming the starting point guard. It's only 50 minutes away, so I'll come home, work out with Jerry, rebound for him, you know, do my homework, hang out with my mom, hang out with my dad, watch basketball, and yeah, it's, I, we're so blessed, I'm so blessed to, to live so close, because I don't know what I would do if I, uh, you know, live far away from them. I, I need my family in my life. Man, you want this piece? Get a little piece right here. bread, so aggressively. I'm not in your head, in your head, in your head. Spray your head. That's real freaky, real. Yeah. You're young, right? That's why you're red. You're red, boy. Awesome, man. Awesome. 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 Awesome.
What? Do you want some? You want the hot dog? You want a ball? Would you jump again? Yeah. I like just did a jump in the game. He did. You, had, you did have a lot of blocks that game. I'm not going to hold you. Oh, yeah, don't go to the block. Oh. I'm used to it at this point. Have you watched the ball vision documentary? Our coach yelled at us. Because some of us weren't jumping. Crazy really? fact. I swear to you. He got mad at us. At halftime? Mm -hmm. I was like, coach. <laughs> <laughs> what you want me to do with them up there? You saw me tackle Adam Bona. Show me do it. Did you mean to do it like that? I didn't even found Paul. It seems like he was going like upwards. Oh yeah. He was like, no, good play, good play. And then after like after like no 30 seconds, he was like, he's like smiling. I swear to you, Nick. He looked me dead in the eye, smiling. He was like, don't do that again. I was like, I look at Devin. This at the free throw line, right? On one of them. It's it's Jared, Aaron, me and Ramsey and. And then on my side, I'm looking at Ramsey, I'm like, Ramsey, pinch like you've never pinched before. <laughs> like, usually I look at him and be like, hey. This time I'm like, hey. Why does it matter if I can see doing it in here? I like the lights. And the candle gives a better vibe to me. <laughs> yeah. I got like, I got these two. I got like five candles. They were on sale. I'm crazy in Bath and Body Works. So like when we were in Sacramento, I was a junior and a senior in high school. Like Jared was homeschooled, seventh and eighth grade year. And that's when he really started working out. I'm not sure if you loved the game back then as much, but like it was kind of like a thing where he understood that he had to work out to get better. And he would work out with uh, Andre Woolrich. He really put us on uh, to hoops, other than my father, of course. Andre, uh, you know, expanded on that. And so he would work out with him, and I could tell he was getting better, you know. He's always been really good, though, but he was grinding a little bit back then, not too much. He would, <laughs> he would work out probably for like two hours a day and then just play Fortnite the rest of the day or try to, you know, buy some shoes or whatever. That was, and do homework, of course, but he was homeschooled, so he could, you know, he had time to do other things. I go to college my freshman year, 2018. He's an eighth grader. He's training with, or he's going to this, I don't know, this program called ABA. And so I don't see Jared for like probably two, three months. I come back, work out with him, and I'm like, bro, this is crazy. Like his whole body changed. He went from probably like 5'6 to now he's like 5'10, 5'11. He used to be a little chubbier. I know my mom doesn't like when I say that, you know? <laughs> but no, he was chubby, man. And, but he slimmed out, started getting stronger, like he had a good body. It was so fast. I didn't see him for three months because I was at college and they were in Sacramento, but they moved to LA and he was training with Shea Frazy. And bro, the development of his game like took off and Shea, you know, he's really responsible for a lot, like how good he's gotten now. Um, his shot was, that's when it really, his shot like started. I knew he was going to be special. Like He started working hard. He would work out two times a day. I think he said this before with Shay in eighth grade. And he would do you know, some body training with our uh, cousin, Trayson. I would always tell people he was going to be elite Like since he was young. Everyone knows it. Everyone that really knows me, I would tell people that Jared was going to be what he is now, pretty much. And they wouldn't really believe me. But when I saw that eighth grade year, I was like, oh yeah, he's, he's on that path, just like I thought.
like Jared's, he's pretty athletic, but he's not, you know, like most of these five-star athletes. Jared, he dominates with his skill, with his shooting, with, you know, his reads off the pick and roll, and just knowing the game. So I just, I was in the gym with him every day, and I knew he was gonna blow up, bro. Like, I don't, I don't know exactly why, but I just, I feel like we've been speaking this into an existence like forever. And what's funny is like, I, I write down all these things. I write down all of Jared's goals or goals I have for Jared in my notebook, kind of kind of thing that he does. And I feel like I manifest some of the things or help Jared manifest some of the things he, he creates, you know? I think I actually wrote something down about getting a Nick in the Cut video. I'm not even lying, bro. I'm not even gassing you right now. Cause I remember watching the JD episode and I was like, dang, I wish J people could see Jared's uh, workout regimen. You know, and all that, and, and bro, little, little did we know it happened. But no, like, like I wrote down, uh, you know, for Peace Jam, I wrote down Peace Jam MVP, average 25 a game, uh, everything. I could honestly show you all this, uh, but it, it's it's crazy. Like I just I just knew, man. Like I don't know what it was, but I knew. And I, I write these things down every day. Every, every night I write down, you know, uh, God, thank you for allowing Jared to be, you know, an elite basketball player and staying healthy, uh, all of that, you know? So, yeah, you know, I just, I love my brother and I want to see him succeed. Are your guys' games gonna be lit? Bro, you know better. I hope. You know better the only reason, the only way we get fans is if it's outside people, like little kids. You still appreciate them though, right? Of course. The of course. The kids. The little kids be going crazy. They don't care. They don't care. They ain't got no. Are you who? Kalea? Are you serious? You do not get. All you need to do is post shit on y'all. Post up on your actually Yes, bro. People will come. Bro. This is tough. Is it a touch screen mirror? Should I dare touch it? I mean, it's there. Oh, Ooh. shoot. What's good? This is JR from Shoe Plug. What? Oh, hey, you don't want to see my food. Well seasoned fries Whoa. with chicken wings. Whoa. Can I get a little? Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Can I get a little slice? And we got, and we got oh, two protein shakes, some barbecue. Can I get a yeah, little? Yeah, we, we stacked today. Uh huh. Yep. You got two play barbecue. Hell yeah. That's Wait, can I have one of these? You have four or three? Hell no. I mean, all these. One of these. You have four. You have literally four. <laughs> I mean, no, no, no. no, I'll go home. Exactly. You get to Wait, go home. So do you heat it up? Yeah, I heat it up in like a little student store. In the what? And like we have like a little student store. So like where, where we buy stuff for school, like the merchant stuff. And they have a microwave, so I just use that. Yeah. There's no one. You said last time I could have one. No, I didn't. You literally said you spare me one. No, I didn't, Dev. You seem a little jittery. This ain't TikTok, my boy. Come on, bro. Stop being jittery. Fast forward, EYBL, 16s, you're an ESPN, you win it all, team why not? The competition down at the Peach Gym was second to none. What was the Peach Gym bubble like? Like you were there, it seemed like you were there for a year, it was like 12 days. Yeah, it could have felt like, I mean, playing 14 games in 14 days, it was, it was pretty wild. Uh, we were all pretty exhausted by the end. It was uh, very rewarding to win it. So I just, we just kept all telling each other, we just got to push through, push through. I mean, I don't know how many dynamic warm-ups warm I did throughout that 14 day stretch, but it was well worth it. Awesome, great, great job by you guys.
So Jared, let's transition off the court a little bit. You have a huge social media following. 69,000 followers on Instagram, 345,000 TikTok followers, wow. 13.5 million likes on TikTok. Was there a particular moment where like an inflection point, point where you realized, hey, I'm really good at creating content that fans want to engage with? Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, once I started like a, like a year ago, I started getting like pretty decent views and I kind of just kept going. I just love to, you know, smile and just create a positive vibe with my videos. I feel like that's one of my main things with creating just to just smile and just, you know, be happy through this process. So not really a main point, but like probably a year ago is when I started realizing, oh, I just create this positive vibe and, you know, it'll carry through. Move to the left a little word. <laughs> Show the fly to three sets of twelve, two on the three sets of ten, and little tape behind the neck. Are we doing that? Your hair is killed right now. Oh my god. Got you gang, got I'm you. I'm here, bro. Watch your head, watch your head. I heard in science. He was trying to hide it. I heard in science, he'd be with all the ladies. Ten, you got caught Aaron Hughes. Science, science, he'd be with all the ladies. have one of those two bags. You want to sit in the back of the strike? And like, You going to the game Friday? What, this is a game? Hey, I'll see Football? Yeah. Well... Bro, your pop size like this. <laughs> I guess I yeah, and I'm never on full stomach. You said a full no, stomach just, in the video. No, no, I said, I, didn't you I say, said a didn't, full. No, no, didn't I say like, I said, I didn't say full, I said he, like. You said full, and he was like, well, not like a full. full I've, full. I've played on like Siri can, I was on a full stomach. So, you know, I think I just gotta find the balance. Like, I'll drink like a juice sit up and some fruit before a game. See, a smoothie, that'll make me just. It's all bad on the court. Left a little. Uh, my type of hits. He said, he drinks his water. Out. It's not for my it's health. Not. <laughs> Coach Brennan told him to be listen. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Sorry, Trent. What's up, Trent? You started. Whole team no, no, came no, up no, like, no, if, no, if no, the no, camera's no, the food, no, they're like, no, what's that? What's that, Jared? What you got? Bro, the whole team. I have food. I have food. Don't throw me in there. I have a hand up. You're supposed to go in here. Look, look, here. They you swipe a valid credit card, they're trying to, like... They're saying you're broke. Yeah, they're basically saying you're broke. Oh! Did it work? Oh, let's go! They get this money, boy! Well, how do you know if my thing already open? Oh, because it fell? Huh? It fell, you weirdo. It's not being dramatic. Wait, I literally don't text anybody. If it's a college Well, yeah, obviously. Go text them back. Like, you, I, I don't text you back. No. <laughs> but when Hollywood, I mean, done got two offers, now he's Hollywood? That's crazy to me. Um, I was going to ask you, uh, how many girls now hit you up now? Zero. You got Instagram now. Zero. Yeah. You're lying, bro. I literally haven't checked. No, I, I, I haven't checked. Aaron. Aaron got the fuck. What? How I am hey, no, Aaron, 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 let me talk to you for a second. Let me talk to you for a second. Let me talk to you for a second. Yeah. How many girls hey. are in your class yeah. that are, you know, on your Hey, don't your lie. List? I exposed you. Zero. Yeah. Any no, girls, you any girls you see around school that you think, oh, <laughs> she's pretty. No. There's not one. No. I'm not <laughs> looking for it, so I don't see it. Aaron, do you know, Aaron, Aaron, do you know of any girls that want you? No. Hell yeah. Oh! Y'all are not in any of my classes except for like what? 
<laughs> Do we why all? Why is that? Why is that? What do you mean? Why, why is that? Why are they in any of your classes? Well, you see, these <laughs> guys are. Hey, yeah, that's what I would say. Just not trying to be mean, but like, but like, 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 like not. Nah. Wait, what classes do you take? Uh, I got, you know, physics. I got AP English. I got, I got AP history. Then got after that, that, I got AP computer science. Wait, see, I got, so I got none, none, none of them are not one of them. I'm in physics. No. I mean, they might have one class. Like, so they might have one class. I'm the smartest one in here. There's one girl that wants. There's one girl that's in the back corner. You'd be like, hey, she kind of fine, though. I got a lot of you. Bro, I'm not literally doing this in class every three seconds. I can't see that. Oh, she's sitting next to you then. Hey, Aaron, Aaron, do you have a pencil? No, no, I don't actually even have a pencil anyway. Do you have a pencil I can borrow? No. Oh, here you go. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you. Find the DM I have. No pictures from your lady verifying. No, I got no picture. I'm telling you, bro. Okay. What is you talking about? I'm tired of posting pictures of my free throw routine, bro. Um, I'm gonna buy those. Pants. You can have. You can buy. You can buy one. Me? How much? Zero. I think they were they were eighty. And I wore them, I wore them for that picture. <laughs> I really might have like four. Uh, 60. I will definitely do that. I do? Like I'll bring them tomorrow. Let me check my funding out my bank account. Let me talk to my father, see if that's all right with my purchases. Hey, Jay, they get getting sweaty today. Oh, God. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's talk, guys. We're playing a really, really difficult schedule, and I feel like for some of you, you get it. For some of you, you don't. With what happened and everything that happened last year and everything that transpired with all that stuff, like you're not, you don't ever get anybody's like C plus game. You know what I'm talking about? Like you don't ever, you don't have the luxury of showing up and the team's like, oh, who are we playing tonight? Or you know, I, I, they're just not into it. You get everybody's A game. Okay, you're the game. Like you, you get everybody's best effort. They're giving out free honey buns, dude. Here, ASB. You have to have ASB. Why would you tell me that? Why would you tell me that? I don't even like honey buns, anyways. I'm on a diet. I got the ASB. Oh, oh. I didn't know you. I did too Real quick, from the side. Big six, what up, boy. Boy. what up, Carter? That boy got his middle part. Is that even? Uh, I can't hear what it is. I think Carter knows what he's doing. Uh, you want to got me nervous. Look at him. Look at him. I'm so scared. What's going on right now? Is he trying to spin the game right now? Oh, I thought he was spinning game. Socially distant. Very socially distant. Nobody was spinning game with it. He was, I was trying to get my pasta. Pasta. P A S T A. Yeah, oh, yeah, they got pasta. Oh. No, I was trying to get some pasta. I was trying to get some pasta. <laughs> Did the TikTok community come for you? They did. I got some message on Instagram saying so. Oh <laughs> I'm like, all right. Oh, 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 oh. I think I might still have so. It's uh, Zachary what? Oh. Uh, Elijah. Come on, hurry up. I just want to know that the viewers want to know. Are you trying to get it? No, I just want no, some no. I'm trying to finish 
So I was just trying to get some pasta for real. Like me and Toshi was. But yeah, that's about it. Yeah, you see the you see the dance move. Learn that from Jared. I can shoot, I can pass, and I can dribble. Go, Jenna! Up here, up here, up here, boy. Up here now. Oh, 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 oh. The whole city said they're popping out tonight. Are you serious? <laughs> no. Yo, can I wear your ring tonight? I'm gonna act like I'm an alum. Like, Y'all are playing a weak team? Yeah. Are you playing Notre Dame at Notre Dame or Centennial? That was them. That would be. That, That's that a game game I think Sheldon will have a good turnout too. That's a Friday night. But also, Modern Day plays Centennial at Centennial. Friday when? This Friday. I feel like you're gonna have more people at this game than you will on Friday. Yeah. A Centennial football. Oh, football. At Centennial. Oh, at Centennial. I'm on the field with it too. I got that. I got. I got field passes. Wait, wait. I thought. Wait, they're playing at the same time as you, or what? What time? Is like it? right after. An hour six. after. Oh, okay. That's lit. So you think people are gonna come to this game and then go? Yeah. That should be the vibe. They already sold. Modern day already sold out. Well, look, top 25, modern day, IMG, Austin, Westlake, St. John Bosco. Okay, but St. John Bosco beat them last year, so I'm just saying if we're going this off is the of new last year. year. Well, yeah, if we're going off of last year, we should be number one state. But look who's number one state, Sierra Canyon. What? Yeah. You see that? Relax. Oh, yeah. I mean, they are going to be, though. But they just disrespect me. Did you call it in yet? No, yet. Okay. You want me to drop you off first? Probably. Okay. Yeah, so call it in, we'll drop you off, we'll drop it. Sure thing, would you like to order? Well, can I see a chicken bowl with no vegetables? Okay. And that's it. Name for the order? Uh, Jace. I know. What is it? Curls. It's a TikToker. He's saying he's proud of it. It's actually really good. Did you beat Cam? Yeah. Why you like freestyle? Right. Did you watch the video? I fried it. No. Yeah. You suck. <laughs> Jesus. Mark, the JV game. Guys, right, start getting yourself ready to play. Oh, Let me get the red and black machine.
Hey, now that was bad. That was bad. I did not think he was going to do it. Hey, I need your listening. Hey, Jerry. Hey, I just you on the track. Oh, that was you? Hey, you good, Jerry. Hey, so I'm about to be talking. Hey, good game. Hey, you're the dude. You went crazy, bro. I just someone just ordered so I just printed I just connected to the label printer and then I put it to the label printer put it to four by six and then turn this on. And it should just print. And then just take here. Find the shirt. It's a white medium. Let me just get a bag. Put a few stickers in. What about a Twizzler? Put a Twizzler in there? Chill. <laughs> now those Nick Twizzlers, bro. I don't mess with Nick Twizzlers. Put a few stickers in. Let's see. Here. Right there. Fold over. Take this off. Boom. So you package it. But this is just homework. Well, when I saw you there. And it you know, it came out, came out perfect though. It's dedication. Yeah, exactly. He's making me want to get on TikTok. That's what's happening <laughs> right now. You got to. And, and, and right, we'll talk about was... that off uh, podcast. Update us on your recruiting. What's the latest? Uh, recently just got the Duke offer uh, that was that was like a, on my goal board to check off so that was super super dope and uh, right now just talking to Gonzaga I'm going to UCLA this Sunday for an unofficial and Gonzaga versus Texas the following Saturday I believe so just you know during season I'm, not, I'm probably not going to take any visits I believe but um, yeah just coming taking whatever comes at me. UCLA is this weekend. Football, basketball, what are you going for? Uh, I think I'm just going to practice, I believe. Response okay. Practice, meeting with coaches. And so that's November 6th and 7th? Yes. Okay, very good. Who else has been on you real hard? I mean, Houston, uh, Louisville has been, uh, they both, since I took my official visits, they, uh, I like them a lot. So those as well. Um, uh, USC been on me uh coach eric mobley he's uh, i've known him for a while uh, my brother actually played with uh, isaiah and evan when they were younger at sixth grade nationals so i've been growing up with coach for a while uh but yeah other than that um you know most of the people that offer me they still stay in contact lmu is in pretty good t uh, contact uh, texas tech he'll send me like a motivational little quote every morning so that's cool to look at and uh, yeah, just same same old people, really. Now you said you have goal boards in, in your room, right? Can you can yep. you take us yep. around with, with the phone and show us yeah, some yeah. of the goal boards? All right, give us a tour yeah. here. Bunch of offers that I would like: uh, McDonald's All American, Jordan Brand, Team USA, Gatorade Player of the Year, uh, Top 100 Cam, uh, Playing the Drew League, Be on a Slam Cover, Chris Paul, Point Guard Cam, Nike Skills Academy. 
So just a bunch of these that I've seen over the years, I've seen YouTube videos about, um, just, you know, been a dream of mine. Are. No cheese? No cheese. Kind of cheese, yeah. <laughs> this is what the fridge is looking like. Tomatoes. Very healthy. Dreams are everywhere. We got dreams. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> we got enough greens. Still more. There's still more greens. More. Whole drawer full of greens. gonna come in here and play us football I don't know what's gonna happen but I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for Centennial or what about for the East Coast viewers the East Coast what's viewers? modern day modern day is the number one team in the nation I mean if you're an East Coast viewer you should you should know you should know modern day football <laughs> No, the ones I actually do hit my head on there one time. Hey, what up, Jay Mac? ridiculous okay we shouldn't be gambling we should just be playing solid defense Oh, 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 oh,
No, I, I mean, he told this story about the Rebe game, you know, how he he struggled with that. I'll tell you my perspective from it, kind of like, so yeah, they, they played Rebe, he didn't have the best game. Uh, you know, I knew he was going to be upset, but they won. He was happy they won, of course, but he was just disappointed in the way he played. And I, mean, I think he texted me like, yeah, I think I'm going to, I think I need to, or he called me, he's like, can we go shoot? And I'm like, Bro, it was like 11.30, you know, they're coming from L.A., which is like an hour, hour and a half away. This is uh, CIF semifinals. Modern day, number one team in the country. We're the only public school left. I was like, bet, like, there's no hesitation. Like, we can get in the gym, I'm there. Uh, you know, he told me to bring some clothes and some extra stuff for him. And, you know, we got it in and, uh, you know, he, we shot for probably an hour, hour and a half. My dad was there, you know, helping rebound, um, you know, and was it, like it wasn't even like it, he, we weren't even talking too much. I, I kind of just like let him through some drills and some, some things, you know, some shooting stuff that day really helped his confidence. And that day really established in my mind, like, oh, he's built for this, bro. Like he's really built for this. Oh, my bad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's he's really built for it. And the fun, like, it's a funny story, like, you know, we were all sweating or whatever. And bro, he just like breaks down crying, man. And like, I'm over here damn near finna cry <laughs> too. Cause I see how emotional, how much he cares about this stuff. And it's funny, cause I forget what song was playing, but it was hella dramatic. Like Nick, if you were there, bro, this would've won a, won a freaking Oscar. Like this performance was crazy. He was crying, I was finna cry. Like he was, he was going through it, but you know. Yeah, like I remember he had the towel in his hand. He was just like crying, like loud, and I was like, "Damn, I ain't never seen him cry like that before." Did you like see it all happen, and you kind of like turn your head? No, I watched it all happen. I mean, I tried to give him some space, but you know, just I remember just telling him like, "Bro, everything happens for a reason. You have a big summer, like." Next game, you're probably gonna make 10 threes. Like, that's just how basketball works. So when he decided to shoot after that, like, you know, that was just another thing that confirmed, like, he's built for this and he's different, you know? This is kind of fire. Hold on. Which one, Nick? Out of the shoes, the present, and the snowman. I don't know. I don't really decorate. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go with the snowman. He's giving good vibes. Are they all this What little... happened to minimalism? Nah, Christmas decorations, that doesn't matter with minimalism. It's Christmas, come on, Nick. I'm just talking more clothes. Uh. Yeah. Should have a talk show. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, what's up, Kai? Oh, you're coming, you're coming back to Centennial this year? Oh, thank God. I, I miss you, Kyler. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good. I'll see you uh, next week. You'll come to Dallas? Cool. I'll see you, my boy. Yo. More of these? Yeah. Always. Two pounder. Yes, but you guys didn't even like that. What? I mean, remember it was like, well, 
Oh, that was too much. It used to be $9.99. It's $2 more. That's crazy. It's Lao. It's Lao food. Like Philippines, I think. Somewhere. Oh. Okay. That sounds fine. If you don't know how to cook meat, it's like someone that does. Oh, I feel like a Florida boy. You look so sick of turning now. You know she's gonna be here, old boy. Finna sit next to her, cook, cook some meat for her. Hey, what up, Dan? Hey, what's up, Dan? I have no idea how to use these. I've never been here, but a limited food. It's like a buffet. You figure yourself. This is a married couple right here. This is spicy pork bulgogi. Oh, this looks freaky. I got my fork. Yeah. Give me. Uh, give me another fork. Wait, wait, just wait. Don't say that. No, no, I got to. I have to. Wait, wait. Yo, fork. Yo. I gotta finish it though. Oh. Wait, why do you eat everything, Jared? Because we get charged for everything we don't eat. <laughs> Yo! Well, what's good with you, go? I don't know, gang. What you want, yeah? You want it. God, what you about to do? Just know. I know him. What up, boy? That's Mark. He's from Last Chance U. What up, Mark? Last Chance U. Who is that? All right, <laughs> right now. Wow. <sighs> You can't take the heat? Are you serious? Hey. Everybody in the comments, rate my gritty. Don't rate his <laughs> Right foot. Josh Giles, yep. you have had 371 career wins, 128 losses over 16 seasons, which is a long time. Yep. Do you see yourself stopping anytime soon? Um, no, I don't. In 19 seasons at Corona Centennial High School, you have won 14 league championships. You are a four-time Riverside County Coach of the Year, a four-time CIF Coach of the Year, 2007 CIF Champions, 2014 State Regional Champions, 2021 CIF Open Division Champions, 2020 LA Times Coach of the Year, 2021 State Team of the Year. Currently heading into the 2021-2022 season, you guys are a preseason national number 12 and in the state of California number two. That's a lot of success. Um, it just means you have really good players. <laughs> awesome. they, they make you look smarter than you really are. This is the big ticket KG Kyle Glazer, and of course, our favorite coach, Josh Giles from Centennial High School. We're going to talk uh, with the Huskies. Whatever the sport is or activity that you're doing, um, I think if you understand, like putting in the hard work and you know trying to find out just how good you could be, like with no excuses, no regrets. Um, I think that is one of the biggest things that we try to instill in them. It's like, you know, if you if you show up every day, work as hard as you can, and you put everything into it, and you find out that you're the second best team or you're the third best team, there's no shame in that because at least you found out. Um, there's no regrets. Like, if you cut corners and you don't work as hard and things like that, and you don't get it. Well, you never knew. Like, you never found out. Like, and I would much rather know, like, okay, hey, we were the third best team in the state, or we were the exactly. third best team in Southern California. Like, exactly. I, I want to find out. And I, you know, that just that constant, like, every single day we're trying to make that push, that 1% push to get better. Um, and I think if you, you know, it's not just for sports, but I think, you know, sports are, you know, a good microcosm of that for your life. But if you're doing that in all aspects, like, just trying to make that 1% push every day to get better. You know, what could you be? Hey man, shout out Facial Lounge. They keep me right. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful face, legend. What did I do? Oh, you got a haircut. You know Boy, I got the haircut. Oh, no. not, I, I never do it hard. I never do it hard. You look good, you look good, you look good. Oh my god, thank you, Jerry. Yeah. Oh my god. Remember your seats. This is so bust. One more? Just looking at our coaches and we're all sitting there and we're like, you know, what the heck happened? And uh, you know, we had to start all over and it was like we made a deal right there. We're like, we're gonna get back. And we won nine games that year. The very next year we were twenty-six and three. With the same group and so for me that is awesome. that was like the biggest um as far as basketball goes the thing i'm most uh, proud of on the court i think on the
Yo, good. Okay, bro. You're lit. You're lit. Show that. Blast, bro. Eating food, bro. Bro, what Jason know? Who's that, bro? The best rapper. The people on the East Coast. The best rapper on the West Coast right now. Went to his concert. Blast. Look him up. B L X S T O D. Yeah, Jason's with him. He was like, hey, I got a surprise for Jerry real quick. Bro. I was like, oh, is it the blast? I was like, yeah, put on the photo bit. Bro. <laughs> is that your favorite rapper? He's like he's up top there. five for he's sure. Like top five ever. He's up there. Like he's like with Drake and Travis with me. He's up there. Blast is nice. You know what else is up? You know what else is up with Blake and uh, Blast? Drake and Blast? This song. Oh, boy, it's making a cut, boy. That boy, it's making a cut, boy. It's too close. My ears are still like. Is this your first time missing Thanksgiving? Yeah, it might probably is for sure. I Both hate it. I love Thanksgiving dinner too. And I'm at Whataburger right now. I got a question for you ham or turkey? Turkey. It's a good man. It's a good man. Why? Like, so nothing else is open here in Dallas? Not one thing. Can't go nowhere except Whataburger. What about McDonald's? I think I, I don't, would you rather McDonald's or this? Whataburger, bro, what? Uh, is it water or water? Water, water. We're in Texas, Whataburger. Out of your element, uh, not being on the West Coast. Yeah, I miss it. Wait, what? Yeah, I feel out of my element. We're still on the West Coast. We're not on the West Coast. Keep anymore. this in, please keep this in. What is this? This is Dallas, Texas. This is not the West Coast. <laughs> is Dallas, Texas on the West Coast? That's what he just said. <laughs> yes, you did. It's the south. You ding back. Oh, look at me. I said that's the South. Get a taco. What was I on when I ordered? <laughs> is it taco? Wait, guys. Your um, what? hamburgers have mustard on them. Mine has mustard. I like mustard, but I didn't get a burger. Ew. Are you got a taco? I got a taco at Whataburger, bro. It's late. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what's the schedule like for tomorrow? I have no idea. No, I didn't get burger. What did you get? I got a fajita taco. Are there tacos? This is not my... <laughs> bro. Bro. What's up, This hair is long. Ago. <laughs> no, man. He hasn't cut it in years. Oh, Where? Oh. Don't zoom in on my patty <laughs> mug, Nick. Stop doing that. Hey, don't touch my rose. Wait, 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 wait. You first. <laughs> I think it's mid conversation. I want to end up with the conversation. Hey, man. How are you? Where are you committed? Are you committed to yourself? I even said time. What's the top five? When's the, when's the list drop? Hey, I'm not gonna lie. What's your top five? Oh. Morris? <laughs> Who's guarding him? Is he like this? Uh, he's, no, he's. That's a bucket. He's like that, bro? Even the Dunkyville players said they couldn't guard him. Oh, yeah. Almost losing the Dream City? Mmm. <laughs> 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 they have shit and they win that game. Mm. <laughs> yeah, they mm. If you guys lose to Dunkyville, I don't want to hear anything. Look at me, lavish out here. Public school? You know, tell with Netflix? Mom, uh, what? It'd be an Olympic sport. Seems like Sierra can or something. For the Serum, face wash, yeah. conditioner, shampoo, Whoa. body wash, and moisturizer. Got it all. <laughs> From the tube up top? Yeah. When everything's going good, everything's going good, or let me say, where did you guys get it from? Oh, I don't know. We, we it. Ain't no way. No it's all the way through with you from freshmen to seniors. They win a CIF championship, and it's all guys that have bought in. And now you've been here for 19 seasons, so obviously the culture that you've created is working. What do you think defines that? What was it about that, you know, buying in? What is this system that they bought into, and what has kind of defined your tenure here? That's a great question. Um, I think the the culture that we've created and, and it doesn't happen overnight and there's some years where it's not as good as others you know and it's just you know that's kind of how it is and the group that we have now a lot of them are carryovers from last year
and we've kind of created this culture where you know if you're if you're playing here and you're a really good player you're probably going to have some opportunities at some scholarships shots that they made overhand one-on-one -on -one. they can't shoot the ball overhand now they can drive and make the extra pass they can make a shot off the extra pass but if we do a good job of maintaining pressure and containing we're fine now don't be scared out there they dug their athletics so go jump somebody everybody want to play high level basketball high major basketball go jump with somebody you get dunked on so be it Dragon bite. yep Lay up. foul Oh, Ramsey! That's supposed to be a dunk. You feel me? Yeah. Hype him up. Yeah. Uh, 
How many points have eight points right now? Foul! By you, Murphy. Like we said, as soon as we got up, we not gonna get no calls. That's the worst whistle I've seen in a long time. But that's no excuse, cause we still could have won the fucking game. Okay, we gotta do a better job. When I first met Jared, he was a little chubby, fat kid with outstanding work ethic and was way mature beyond his years mentally. From there on out, I kid you not, I knew that kid was gonna be some kind of special for us. I didn't know it would happen this soon, but I knew that kid with his work ethic and his discipline would someday be really special. Even when he was like, trying to do something so far. The second I met Jared, the first time I trained him, I told, called Coach Giles, I was like, this kid is built different mentally. Like he's really locked in. Jared was probably six foot, 185 pounds. Doesn't look anything like he does right now. A little chubby kid just running around and working his ass off. He would talk like he was vocal. He wasn't shy. I knew he was going to be on varsity. Um, I didn't know if he would start or not, but I remember section seven. He he made the trip as an eighth grader. Um, that summer of his freshman year, he made a trip as an eighth grader. Um, we were losing pretty bad to some team from, I think, D.C. And I remember Jared subbed in for like two minutes. And he got the ball in the corner and he shot his first three and it, was, it went in. And like two possessions later, he shot his second three and it went in. I was like, okay, this kid is oozing with confidence. He's going to be just fine for us. He was a perfectionist. like. I'm really detailed with my training, and he understood how things need to be, like, and he just wanted to work and work and work until he got it right. Jared's always been down to work out at 6 a.m. He was the first one in the gym, he'd take his little rest, he'd go from 6 to 7, practice start at 7.40, he'd get his little 20-minute rest in, and he's right back at it. Like, he's literally a gym rat. He. <laughs> He goes from workout to workout to workout, whether it be strength and conditioning, whether it be yoga, whether it be basketball, or even stretching. Like, he's literally like, when it comes to those type things, he literally has a professional mindset. The gender is pretty much in the same spot every day, every time he would go knocking, and sometimes he go, I guess he find a janitor, and I come in with my key, and he beat me to the gym, and he's already in there stretching and getting ready for the workout.
under time. Front! You hear me now? Front! Understood? You're not playing behind. We just walk. I don't want to call a play every time down the floor. No shot fix. Okay? You get that thing, you power that up, you put him in the rim. It's like, like they could just have him. You feel me? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I actually put in the work. I don't care about the most. I don't care about the most. Quality over quantity. But look, <laughs> but look, my thing is. Show, I'll show, I'll but show. But look, look, look. Right. Oh. Oh. What's he doing over there? My Alex, I'll show, okay. We really don't know. But look, um, my thing is. For the East Coast here. I would have Toji explain that one. So abroad is like, <laughs> what is that East or West Coast like, term? It's better. It's, it's higher than a female. Like abroad is like the most beautiful woman. <laughs> Go. Why do y'all think? I don't want to know. Why y'all think I'm a trans baby? Well, like, that's what I've been told. Talks, bro. Devin. Where I'm from? Where are you from? I can't say too much. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I can't say too much. You feel me? How do you feel about your recent promotion to the varsity? It's first start. Mm. Mm. Um. I ain't gonna lie, I was low key nervous, but I, you know, blessed you for me. Um, right from JV, it's starting. Sold out days. Yeah, it's like. Something light? Yeah, it's something. I mean, not, it's not something light. Like, How'd you feel out there? I ain't gonna lie, I was nervous, nervous. like, but you know, yeah, that's, that's later on in the game, I started connecting shots, so like, I felt better. So, and my, my Were boy. You shocked that you started? Uh, yeah, I'm not. Well, I mean, like, I expected it. Giles, he called me like two hours, two hours He said, nah, I'm better than all these. But, nah, nah, nothing like that. You feel me? <laughs> nothing like that. Just, I had to play my part. I had to do what I had to do. You know who might have the baddest broads and no one knows? It's free. Free, free, free. Oh, free. Oh, yeah. The difference between the nervous and the confidence. So, the confidence comes from just working out. Like just working, just doing the same stuff you do in the workouts in the game. But I like that, like the butterfly feeling, like I like that nervousness. And I don't know, it kind of just, that kind of like fuels me. I'm like, I know what I can do. Yeah, I just kind of use that to my advantage. And just, you know, trust the work I put in. Cause I do the same thing I do in the workouts in the game. So it's like, I've done this a million times, I can just hit another shot. And I would say, I would say read that book, The Inner Game of Tennis that I read before every game. That probably built my confidence the most. What is it called? It's called The Inner Game of Tennis. The Inner Game of Tennis? Yeah. Where'd you get it? It's just on Amazon, it's everywhere. It just talks about, it's like just the mental side of, bas of sports. Not even just, it's not really about tennis. It's from the perspective of someone who plays tennis, but. Like when I read that, like I know like I'm locked in. Cause I've read it before every game, so it's like a routine now. So like when I read it, it's like a, like a, it's a switch in my brain that's like, okay. This is like, it's like a, yeah, it's like time. That's why I like it. Yeah. Now I get that. It just kind of like routine. I feel like if you develop a routine before every game, that also helps. It just makes you feel more comfortable. That's, yeah, you, if you just pray before every game, you find like a, you find a little routine, like even daily, like you wake up at this certain time on game days or something like that. That's like, it'll make you feel more comfortable on the court, just having a routine. Yes, Cersei. Anytime, my boy. He was known as Reggie Miller and, her, and his sister. They went here. You know, greatest female basketball player of all time. Are they usually good and stuff? Yeah. I thought they were known as a school that's about to lose to King Ronis and Tenny. Oh, they are? Uh, oh, they're about to be known as that in the bottom. Hey, don't say that again. I don't know Reggie Miller went here. Yeah. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here?
Alright, maybe next year. Hey, where are we gonna go eat? Hey, what? Oh, man. Let me go get that sign, man. He said he wanted his MVP back. See this is? It's a knife and a spoon. We're high school. We have a basketball game. I'm as locked in as I'll ever be. I'm eating soup with tomatoes. Tortilla soup. in the southern section, best team in the IE, best team in the stake, and I can keep going on and on. We got Josh Giles, head basketball coach of the Centennial Boys basketball team. Really heated up in the gym, man. Your Huskies basketball team, 26 and one overall, like perfect 10 and 0 in the Big Eight League, defending Open Division champions. Um, coach, as, as you go into the Open Division playoffs, we'll talk about some. We're on our own pretty much, so people found places like 10 minutes from here, five minutes from here. We're all over the place, honestly. My place like 15 minutes. Yeah. We'll probably hit up his place later, man. Yeah, see, we got, that's how you know our rent's high, because we got five-star restaurants right below our stuff, though. So we're going to be sitting on the floor eating. <laughs> you won't be sitting on the floor. We got our couches. <laughs> we got three seats. We look so official with the camera following us. Hey, there's not another D2 school that's getting this. Like, who are these people? You know, I like to say I'm used to this, you know, coming from Centennial, man, you know. It's, it's the stuff we do, man. Bring that culture, man, you know what I'm saying? There was a time, it was a real estate crash or something, and we were, I mean, it was a struggle. And uh, uh, thank God for our, our, our really good friends. Um, the Askews. They, uh, wow, I didn't know this was gonna hit me like that, but uh, we're so uh, loving and caring. I remember we lost, we lost a car. The car was almost paid for and we, we lost it. It was just like, just money became a, a issue. And Jace had like uh, money from like his birthday stuff and all he, I mean, he had probably, I don't know, couple thousand dollars but he came to us he heard us talking about money and he came and said well you can take you can take uh, my money and you know to pay the bills or whatever and, was, and of course that just that, that really uh that really uh, got us we managed to climb out of the hole and uh, uh you know i believe the boys uh both saw they saw some of our struggles and I feel like that that has shaped them uh, tremendously. They themselves will try to help others. I, I feel like Jared has a hard time like saying no to people like they, they want his autograph and they want him to sign stuff they want him to take pictures they want him to do and he he wants to do all of it every time and I get it. He he he's, he cares. He really does. He wants to do that stuff. I love that about his uh, personality. Let's do physics. Let's get this money. Jason McKinney. What up, boy? That boy looking like a
like a guard. I think up. like a lot of people look down on D2 and D3. Um, one thing that somebody told me when I was considering going D2 is about it's not about where you go, it's about how you perform. Um, so that was just the main thing that kept me going is just you just got to perform no matter where you are. Joining the ranks of uh, the Baylor men's basketball program. Yeah, another D2 guy. Uh, yeah. It's really interesting to, to see that. I know, I think Freddie Gillespie was even D3, if I'm remembering correctly. High major D2 and like low major D1 is like, I feel like very similar. Like we said, we feel like we can beat some D1 teams. Um, but it's like, just because we have the Division Two next to our name, people look down on it. And the talent level really isn't. Too, too far off. You know what they're saying, it's just the talent level, it's very similar, I think, as you know, for the guard position, or it depends on where you go. Just like I said, what Tyrone said, just perform, and you'll be found, you'll be seen, and you'll get paid. So that's what I believe. Like I said, well, my family always tell me, you know what I'm saying, share the sugar, you know what I'm saying, have fun with it, and enjoy the process. So I used to look down on D2, like, oh, this is, why, why is it? Why am I going down here? But as I learned through the process, through the recruit process, you know, it's really not big of a difference. Just play basketball, have fun, and enjoy it. Not a lot of people can have this opportunity. teams that beat D1 teams um, and I think that specifically kind of in our league in the CCAA too there are a lot of division one job backs that come to play at these schools I think the main difference would just be kind of the exposure that D2 gets versus what division one gets um, a lot of the guys you know at, at this league could play division one go to a low major major <laughs> Scottsboro. Oh no way. Right. See, this is what we talking about. <laughs> this is D2 basketball. We can't even get in our own gym, huh? Nah, we. Come on, man. We don't have like a key to just get in, you feel me? Yeah, maybe this will work. Is there basketball tonight? <laughs> uh. Nah, there's not, not tonight. I don't know. Are, are you supposed to be playing tonight? Uh, we're practicing either here or there. I thought we were in here, though. Yeah, I, we're trying to get in. You got to call the... Uh... Well, we, we should be getting shots up, man. Yeah, get some of this. Oh, okay. All right, my boy. So right now, bro, you know, if we wanted to get some shots up, we couldn't because we got people using our gym for volleyball. Random students can come in and use it. We probably could, but technically it's their gym time. Oh. <laughs> you got our showers. You know, it's pretty, it's yeah, it's pretty nice, man. Mode. This is what we get down. Like, we change before game. Before. Showers, you feel me? I mean, this is what a D2 locker room looking like, man. You feel me? We support the LGBTQs, of course. I get all Jared's hand-me-downs, pretty much. Mm. <laughs> hey, show him, show him. Hey, this is what D2 looks like right here, man. This man got, he can't get shoes. You get team shoes? These are the team shoes. Those are the only shoes we got Dude, the whole year. Why are they so run down? Bro, because we got them in yeah, August. Yeah. And he's had them for how long is that? Six, seven months. Why don't you get another pair? Hey, man, you know. Uh, we can't afford to, bro. Yeah, it's that D2 stuff, D2, man. No, yeah, there's a few others. Uh, I mean, a lot of people just buy their own, but like, you know, some people depend on the school to get them shoes, and we, we don't have enough, man. Nah, but yeah, I mean, I don't want to put our school down because we got an amazing yeah, we school. Got, it's, it's 
it's a blessing. And I feel like most D2s like struggle with gear just because like, you know, money, stuff like that. But now, what we have for sure, like, don't take it for granted. It's yeah. a blessing. But yeah, don't expect, if you come to a D2, don't expect a bunch of gear or anything. But at least the basketball is good, right? Yeah, yeah, the basketball is it's great, man. This is how I thought you guys were about to be living. Really? <laughs> no, really. Wait, what, what made you think that? That's because it's like... Just because it's like D2. And I... So most of the time you guys will walk, whereas like Tyrone and your other teammates, they have to drive and yeah. you're saying like, sometimes you guys forget stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah you forget stuff and we, we can just walk right back to our apartment but them they got a 15 minute drive and don't make there be traffic la isn't all nice either right nah nah I mean, like, like i said like many places got like their good parts and their bad parts so i mean people think la is just sweet but nah. man this is so far oh my gosh they gotta wake up like at least an hour before because like we would have like study hall at nine so we could wake up at like 8 30 and <laughs> and get there on time. Oh. Listen, listen, Nick. You hear the police? How are you looking like that? We in the trenches, man. Serious, man. Yeah, we gotta go up there. That's that's Ty's room. Ty, take us up there, man. Can we all fit up there? This place gotta be nasty up here. Is there a dog? Wait, is there a dog here, T? London's not here, right? You gotta be careful down these stairs, bro. No door? <laughs> this, is crazy. this is crazy wow. right here. It's the LEDs. That's what it is. This is nice, man. I want to hear all about and got or the three point shot. Yes, yes. Yes, we work on that. We work on that. Oh God. The cane looks. 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 Loops it. Milton, the jumper at the buzzer to win it. Shoot! Oh! Throws? I don't know if I trust it. Yes, no, we, we trust Greg, it. We trust Greg, Greg. Greg's got this. Ah! You're from the 916. That's what we do in the 916. 12 has it. 12 has it. But, oh, no, no, no. Yes! Yeah! I hope so. Dave's at the new MacBook. Boy. I hope so. Chromebook. Chromebook. To the office, number 11, looking like a MacBook. Strain set. Hey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Go ahead, man. Oh, you want me to? Oh, yeah, <laughs> he watches is Jared McCain. See that guy right there? Right there. All he watches is Jared. This not. This will be like episode like 14, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll at the game right now. Um, yeah, just watching the JV game, waiting for my game. Let's get straight to it. Nick, if you're editing this right now, like, I love you. Like, keep going. Like, you're doing great right now. It might be 3 a.m., might be 4 a.m., but still love you, Nick. And, uh, Nick. Yo, yo, is it good? He is, like, a monster when it comes to, if, you, if you're gonna make him late to something, he, that's when he gets, he gets so much attitude. You know, he doesn't like being late, and he likes being early. And sometimes it's really early. Like, you know, he just, they just they just been different like that. There's been times where I'm like, like, wow, they they not wanting to sneak out of the house. Or, okay, good night, mom, dad, love you. You know, and they go to bed and you're like, wow. Or they tell us, I got I got homework. I can't do this or that or whatever. So that's that's the poison self awareness combined. And that's like, you know, whether or not Jared was very athletic to start, whether or not he was a great shooter, or, or I remember the first time he came in and like, his first, like one of his first layups, I saw him shoot in live situation. He shot like a one foot jump shot. And I was like, dude, don't do that again. That's ugly. Yeah, w whether or not, you know, he was this or that, he kind of always had a good amount of self-awareness and poise. And I think that really, that'll take you a long way. That'll keep you, you know, understanding what's happening on the court and understanding where you can be a part of that. And as he grows, I think that'll always serve him well. Being around a negative person, get away from it. You know, with God and being positive, I think everything else uh, falls into place. Quit talking about it, you know, go be about it and uh, put in the work. Uh, one of the 
since the coach is here at Corona Centennial, played back here 2007, 2008. Jelan, I feel like he's like told us his story and like just like just stay focused. He's always the one that's mic'd up. He's he's crazy, but that's my dog. I hope so. Yeah, I think he's got a chance too. He's a very talented kid, very athletic, very fast. Uh, he's got a lot of ability. If his maturity level uh, starts to make some progress, which it has been, then he's got a chance to help our team. I was here at games uh, when he was a freshman, uh, when he played with Paris and guys like that. So, um, you know, there was a lot that Coach Giles and, you know, these guys were saying about Jared as a, as a youngin. And I just had to come see it for myself, man. And when I came, you know, I was really impressed. I kind of peaked early. Um, like I've, I've been this height since I was 14. Um, I had a pretty decent freshman year, you know, some low-level college interest. My sophomore year is kind of when I took off, and I ended up committing to USC as a sophomore. And from there, kind of went downhill for me. I mean, I'm gonna just be honest. Kind of got big-headed and you know stopped taking the game serious, and I ended up losing my scholarship my senior year. You know, because all the other schools that were interested in me. Um, when I committed, they kind of went. Um, you know, I had mostly the Pac-12, you know, USC. I uh, had some UCLA interest. San Diego State had offered me. Long Beach State and UCR. UCR was on me since like I was seventh, eighth grade. And my dream school was SC. So, you know, committing to them early, it was a blessing and a curse for me just because of how it ended. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Never take it for granted. When I ended up committed to SC, I, you know, felt like I was the man on campus, and you know, stopped taking my craft serious. You know, if you are successful early, and you do end up, you know, getting that college interest, things of that nature, just don't take it for granted. Um, you know, because it could be snatched away from you at any moment. It's like, well, like today, since we traveled and I had to wake up at literally like three to get up for my flight, I just did it now because I have to do it before the day before the game. So I meditate on the plane and then yoga now. All right, my friends. So we're going to Yo. Everyone and So we're going to draw the left heel. Welcome back, man. Y'all want part two? You finna get it, man. Let's go. How you doing, Nick? How you doing, Nick? <laughs> yeah, Nick rocks with the uh, Mexican food trucks, man. Ooh, I got an umbrella in my car if you want to grab one. Bonnie and Clyde, girl, we bought like the fabric. Baby, we can do it up, Minnesota. Yeah, we're shouting out sack rappers, man. Oh, whoa. DV about a bad You see the game, sun Bonnie, out here? Port Mozzie, man. It's beautiful out here, man. Four tacos, quesadilla, and a burrito. Hey, yo, hey, Nick, what kind of meat you like, bro? The best meat. What's the best meat? I'm more of a. Oh, she's waiting. Somebody uh, can go. I'll go right All right, I'll do it. Al pastor. You know, this is normal, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I don't like it, but. Is it cheap right now? No. Yeah, it's cheap. It's no. cheap, bro. <laughs> no. I wish. Gas. What's the cheap though in California? Cheap gas it's is like, like three. three. Some in the three. Three fifty, three twenty-five. That's around good. there, yeah. Bro, I go to the East Coast, it's like two dollars. I'm like, what? It's a hey, tie got he got five quesadillas. Look, <laughs> <laughs> that's 45 dollars. <laughs> oh, who got the horchata? Horchata, thank you. What is it called? Oh, it's called Mia Steel. Has, has got... 
Yeah, Mark, look at the mountains over there, bro. What? Yeah, yeah. They... Look at the plain, man. Yeah. It's beautiful what? out here, man. Look at the cheapest gas prices. <laughs> It's a lot of meat. It just dep like, depends how much meat you can take. So, like, Nick, I don't know how much you want to eat. You want to get something to drink in the gas station? Yeah. I'm trying to get a I'm going to get one, too. <clears throat> be way worse. For real. Bro, I'm like, bro, you're in beautiful San Marcos. Playing, bas playing the game that you love. Take things for granted sometimes. Yo! <laughs> this home has been disinfected. <laughs> Can we tour your room real quick, yeah. bro? Go ahead. Hey, wait, hey, wait, like, go like this. Open it up. Yeah, you know. All right, open it up. Hey, welcome to his crib, man. We're here with Chase Bowser, man. He don't got a door. He don't got a room or anything. <laughs> you walk in and his room is right here. Yeah, Lil D's back here, so you can just, he's kitchen right there. Easy access. You got a, oh, you got a nice little PC set up. Okay. You stream? Nah, no stream. Damn, damn this is crazy right here. This is you really made do. I like this. <laughs> but damn, it's, it's such a nice small space. So, because well, I was sharing my my room with my brother for a long mm. time, and so I was like, screw that, I'm gonna go into the basement. And that's tight as hell. It's tighter than this. Yeah. Oh, so you're living large over here? Yeah, it's actually better here. Hey, I'm not really sure what goes on in here, but we can just show you the shower. <laughs> what is that? What are your meals mostly like? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll see if I can show you all the pasta we got. We just got a ton of pasta and ramen. Well, um, like, is the ramen lifestyle real? <laughs> it's real, man. Like, Especially kind of like in the beginning, you're eating good. We're <laughs> eating good. The last two months, man, we're eating ramen, all our pasta. It's bad, man. I don't need anything, right? Nope. Back into it. Yeah. Where do you guys get these from? Uh, Amazon. Really? Yeah. All the salt around the wall. Vibes. Great vibes all around. Is that free? Yeah, you got one of them. No, I'm just asking. Yeah. All free. So I had to protect my hair. Hella stuff going on. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, in the school year, we had some guys steal from Walmart, and he ran in this complex, and there's a whole helicopter going in here chasing <laughs> oh, him. Oh, no, you didn't. Yeah. For Another real. time, we had a car chase right here. Dude hopped out the car, ran in here. It was, it was Wait, you ran in the room? No, nah, he ran in the, not in the room, but he ran by. It was pretty funny. Bro, and I just left, but nothing happened, but it was just random, bro. Ten cop cars just chilling in here. That D2 life, like, man. You don't know what's going on over here. Hey! <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's get the tour, man. Hell yeah, the tour. that's tough. No, that's tough. You talking yes, to it? Yes, sir. Yes, well, sir, Max. Yeah, this is my room. Man. Oh, wow. Is this yeah. the biggest room? Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, you got the master. Damn, you got some... Look at these rooms. Ooh. <laughs> si size 32? <laughs> that's tough. Wait, how do you enjoy the Division II lifestyle? Um, I like it. It was definitely a change from what I'm used to, but I picked it up pretty fast, I feel like. I got my Mexican blanket, keeps me warm, especially right now, it's cold, you know. Mexican blanket. Mexican LeBron. Yeah, yeah, this is what we call Mexican LeBron, man. Did it take long to adjust to this lifestyle? This lifestyle? Um, I shared a room last year, so it's nice to have my own room. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was actually going to be in that where Chase is, but... So I'm paying, actually, I mean, I'm paying a lot, so mm -hmm. I had to take a loan out for this, but it's worth it. If you didn't take a loan, 
Is there any other option? Or did you, or you had to take out a loan? I had to, yeah. I mean, I could have just lived in the dining room. Um, I could afford that, <laughs> but... Yeah, yeah, I'm on full scholarship, but... But they don't help with the housing. They, yeah, not they, necessarily. They do to an extent. Oh, okay. yeah. Have you ever watched Last Chance View? Yeah, I have, yeah. Can you relate to them a lot? I play Juco, too, and I'm oh. really relate, so... That, that Juco life's a little different. I'm living large here than Juco, so... What yeah. was it like over there at Juco? It's wild. You got a lot of wild characters. You know, very talented, but had their own problems and couldn't. Was the living situation that. better at Juco or worse? I lived yeah. at home, so oh, okay. yeah. I heard so Juco living the situation would be terrible. Yeah, but in California, most people live at home. There's not as much uh, budget. Yeah. For the sport, right? Oh yeah, my school had no money at all. I mean, we were rocking Russell Brand <laughs> sweaters. And Maybe you heard the Juco life was bad. Right. What made you still pursue it? Oh, it's the love of the game just a chance to play basketball in college. That's right. You know, you're chasing that dream. Everyone wants that scholarship. But unfortunately, it's, for a lot of guys, it's not a reality. And I was what do you only, mean by that? Like, I was the only guy that ended up getting a scholarship on my team. Um, even though, you know, I might not come in as the most talented guy in my freshman year, but every day, you know, I wrote my goals down. And I looked at that every day. I you haven't written it down? Right I had that when oh. I was a little kid. Oh. Yeah, me and Jason are big on a meditation. Yeah, and yoga. Sir, so I wake up and do How long have you been doing that? Past two years, be present, live in the moment. I know me and Jace talk about that a lot. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy the moment. That's the only thing that matters. I would say don't compare yourself to others. I mean, everyone's on their own journey. Uh, you know, I think kids might look down on Juco or whatnot, but I mean, you have a chance to play college basketball and pursue and keep playing. I mean, that's all that matters. So you're here taking that alone. Yeah. But as long as you can play, you don't mind. Not at all, man. Living the dream. Man. Living the dr I'm living the dream right now, man. Is he gonna stay that size forever? Yeah, yeah he's, he's full been that grown. Size for 30 years. He was the smallest of the litter. There was four of them, and we got the smallest. Did you get an eye patch? Not yet. <laughs> you should get him an eye patch. Oh, yeah, that'd be cute. Do you want to swim or anything? A swim? It's a little, it's a little <laughs> cold out. It's a little cold. Man. Is it? Yeah. The pool's colder in the sun. <laughs> that'd be freezing. It'd be like an ice bath, though. Everybody working. You already know, man. This is where we come from, man. Sacramento. We just grind. That's it, bro. Oh, you already, got, you already got stuff all over the floor. I gotta sweep the floor. You know that. Oh my gosh. All right. You can't do that, you just walk again. Wait, what? You can't, you, game time. Never beat me in anything, man. I'm really him, man. It's me, man. You can't beat me in anything. Overtime, it's overtime. Overtime, it's what? Overtime. Overtime. There it is. Whoa. Whoa. All right, that's all I wanted to show you, man. One eye, man. You don't really know what's going on out there, but. He living life though, bro. Like he's a perfect example of how you should live your life for real. <laughs> when things go bad, man, just keep going, keep pushing. I mean, now he's living on top of the roof. I'm gonna shuffle. I mean, I feel like they're all pretty random, yeah. <laughs> Sisters and, and just great some pictures. That's my mother. My mother was really pretty. Mm. Yeah. 
I had my dad was Mr. San Luis of Obispo in 1940-something. <laughs> yeah. Here, okay. get a plate and help yourself. There's meat right here. And what else do you want? Beans, cheese, sour cream. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Cyclops! Hi! <laughs> nice. But he was like, maybe come next month. But we're going to try and see you guys. Oh. Um, I'm going to cry. Remember that yesterday? Yeah. He's like, he just in. got here. They turned it. I forgot to turn it in. Overnight. I'll get that. I'll get that. Okay. You dropped me off by like sex. You're staring. Why is he looking at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> you see your eyes? You remember? You play a tough opponent and you know maybe it comes down to the end and maybe you lose. To me, that game gets you more prepared for the playoffs than a 40-point game. Who doesn't get a bed though? Who's not getting a bed? Zach. Oh. Zach. You got the best. Oh, yeah. Who's on two? What, what floor are we on? I think we're all on four. We're all on four. Nick, we're filming each other. Uh oh. We are filming each other, Nick. Okay, so when. I'm better sleeping on my own, cause if you like no, the not? way you look that much, okay. This is her last time playing with Ramsey and. Dude, Diane. that's crazy to think about. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss them. That's sad, bro. Got a new book. The Inner Game of Work. Second version of the Inner Game of Tennis. Shout out Arrington for getting this for me. Got my journal. Got my night journal. And <laughs>
You know we all man, you know what I'm saying, man, you know what I'm saying. Hey! Hey! Look at the stone cutter hammering away at his rock, perhaps a hundred times without as much as a rack showing it, yet at the hundred and first blow it will split into two. And I know it was not the last blow that did it, but all that had gone before. We played 30 something games this season and you finally get to playoffs and it's like, like that's like the hundredth blow, the hundredth hit at that time. And it's like, you're tired, end of the season, you're kind of waiting for AU to start. You got all these accolades already before, you won so many things, but now it's playoff time and that's really, really when you have to lock in. That's, that's basically what my goals are, to win a state championship, win a CIF uh, title. And that's, that's where it comes when it's playoffs, after all that, all that work you did the whole season to become the first seed. And that's what we were, so I think that's kind of, I think playoffs is like that 101st time where you have to, you know, hit the rock or play that game. And we really locked in and I think that's, one thing I credit this team to the most is we were really good at just being able to focus on the main goal, which is the state championship, and we got there because we were all locked in together, all focused together on one goal, and um, yeah, that's basically what that quote says, is just kind of keep going until, just keep going until you get to that goal, keep going until you finish whatever you have to achieve, and that's what our team did this year. Yes, sir. I think that was pretty good. Y'all not, not on my level, man. It's healthy, man. Health is wealth, man. They don't got no business talking in the first place. Thank you. I was like, I was like. <laughs> yeah, we're just, you know, taking a little journey. Me and Nick are holding hands, walking. No, we're not. Uh, just chilling, you know. Killing the Terminal 5. 482, like, is that what we're doing now? What about the NL and NL Mega? I don't even have access to it. It's locked Word. away. Saving up, you know what I'm saying? This looks good though. I love juice. I would like to see a bang out. I've never seen that. I boom like I boom like all the time now. What's that PJ? Yeah? In terms of any any little money I get, whether it's just for my parents for you know my birthday or something like that or for Christmas, but I, I've learned like you know when I was younger, or I mean, I'm young right now, but when I was a little bit younger, uh, I, I wanted to spend stuff. I wanted all the shoes. I mean, I, I this is a product of what I've uh, spent my money on, and um, I probably shouldn't have. But now that I've watched, it's funny I watched Matt, Matt Diavella and Ali Ali Abdal, I believe is how you pronounce it, two of my two of my favorite YouTubers. You kind of realize like how to save money and how to how to invest your money, whether it's a Fidelity account or a S and P 500, anything like that, any investment account. Um, you learn about that stuff, and I really got interested in that like six months ago. Kind of learning like if I start investing now, it's at 17, 18. I'm able to, you know, this is like triple the money that if I started investing at 25. Down on the O, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, I made a TikTok right there. Wait. Yeah, yeah, it was right there. That's what you can't Yeah, yeah. Please stand clear of doors and hold them to the end. on you right now, but that's the law of attraction, man. You get what you put out here. From everything to, from like, the social media stuff because he obviously went through it before I went through it. You know, I was able to kind of see what he does and how he handles it and, you know, try to, you know, make it, make it my own thing, like take some things from him, but then, you know, obviously we're different, so make it my own. I mean, I feel like I'm positive, but Dusty's like, he's really like just knows when to crack a joke, you know, when it's needed. I just need to laugh sometimes, you know, you play a bad game, it's like, he's like, <laughs> it'll just say something, like, hey man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, last year, last year, or when did you say that? Oh, when I went to prom, like, uh, we, we played, I mean, we just played in the, I don't know what session that was, it might have been session one or something, but he was just telling me, 
go be a kid out there. And it was true. You know, I just had to go be a kid. I mean, just rooming with Jared and, and you know, seeing his habits. and He's, like, really good at his routine and, and what he does before games. And he sticks to that and, and it's constantly finding ways to get ahead of the competition. Um, that's something I've noticed, like, even when we play at Shea, or like we're playing one on one at Shea, he's always like cheating and okay. you know, <laughs> doing things to you know make sure oh, that he great. secures the win. No, um, no. just like <laughs> just like to say. just like finding little things like it within the game that we're playing to like give himself the advantage, which is something that I've definitely <laughs> taken. <laughs> taken. Um, no, I mean like for other like real talk like other than the cheating stuff like. Like the stuff he does, like he, he'll, he just always wants the edge and the advantage. So I've definitely, you know, taken that from him. Bell peppers and mm. carrots. And yeah, it cooks every night. Every night. Wow. You know, we always have to have spinach. That is just a must in our household. struggling EYBL, but now he's performing at, at the biggest stage, so it all, all worked out, man. I can't watch this, bro. It's high game, bro. I can't watch this, man. We need Mokan to win. We need Mokan to win. It's 58-58 right now. Durant versus Mokan. Where we at? What is it, Calvin? 58-59. Oh. 58 60. Durant in the lead. 20 seconds left. Tripping or like was Mokin like way better than Durant? Um, we beat Durant and then we lost to Mokin by 20. So technically, Mokin should beat them by like 25 30. Oh! 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 oh. oh. Three, two, one. Yes, sir! Oh. What happened? What happened? You gotta, you gotta put game. back in. Tie game. Tie game. Tie game. How much time? How much time? Oh. Oh. Let's go! It's late. <laughs> They're late. They're late. Oh. 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 Jerry's got the best Wi Fi in the house. Me, Jerry! Oh. 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 Overtime. 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Overtime, overtime, overtime. No way, no penalties. Where y'all going? Yeah, I don't know. It was a guy. It was an overtime. So we thought it was overtime, but it was a foul when he was trying to go for a layup. Still a, it's still a sore subject. I mean, we just found out we didn't make good we did, so we're still kind of upset about it. I'm kind of in shock. I mean, I'm in shock. Like, I just didn't expect it to happen. It sucks because we have the same record as teams who were going to make it. You know, obviously we were excited to come here and just finish it off the right way, and it didn't end that way, which sucks. But, I mean, it's sad that this is like our last time rooming together, like, for a while. Like, you know, we don't go to the same high schools not going to the same college, so it's crazy. It's like an end of a end of an era. Should we hug it out for the last thing? Oh, I think a good dap up. I think a hug's better. I think a hug's better. <laughs> Yo, what? Did, how about just a dap up? Did we? Okay, have a like have a like a dap up like hug. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers. To our AU journey. To, let's try that again. Cheers, Cheers. to a good AU journey.